Chapter 741 Fighting Against Heavenly Geniuses Translator Born to be the four of them roared furiously and attacked at the same time. Their killing intent was soaring as they all went berserk. As peerless geniuses, being slapped in the face made them feel even worse than being killed. Of course they went berserk. Countless runes appeared around them, and a powerful pressure caused space to twist. Just their aura was enough to terrify rank 1 celestials. It just so happens that I can use you to test my power. Divine Ring. Long Chen's Divine Ring appeared behind him, causing a loud rumbling. Astral winds raged as it seemed like heaven and earth were trembling. But this time was different from before. There was a faint green color within the three color ring. Its color was faint, but it was still visible. This was Long Chen's first time summoning the Divine Ring after condensing the Enlightenment Palace Star. His spiritual Yuan gushed forth from his body. Long Chen roared thunderously, and it was like he was possessed by a battle god who arrogantly looked down on them. With a single punch, a terrifying pressure locked down the four of them. The spectators were all shocked. Just how heaven-defying was Long Chen? Even in the face of the four heavenly geniuses, he still didn't take a single step back. Boom. The platform shuddered, but the runes carved into it made it extremely stable. It wasn't the slightest bit damaged. Five figures blew back. Long Chen was blown back a few dozen meters before stabilizing while Xiao Wuji and the others were blown back by just 10 meters. They looked at him with shock. He, he can actually manage to fight all four of them, stammered a shocked disciple. Long Chen had only just stabilized his body when he once more shot forward nimbly, arriving in front of the closest one, Shu Guanzhi. Sky Water Shield. Boom. Shu Guanzhi's water shield exploded. He was sent flying by Long Chen's fist. He was completely shocked. It had to be known that he was no longer the same Shu Guanzhi that Long Chen had previously defeated. Within the Zhuanshan Sea, his comprehension over the water element had increased to a whole new level. His water energy was much purer. Furthermore, on the Nine Netherworld path, his spiritual strength had been improved to an unprecedented level. His Skywater Shield was at least twice as powerful as before, but it was still unable to bear a single punch from Long Chen. How could he not be shocked? Long Chen had just sent Shu Guanzi flying when he felt the wind behind him. Without even looking, he smashed his arm backward. His elbow ended up colliding with a huge fist. That attack had come from Xiao Wuji. Both of them were blown back. Because Long Chen had only had time for a hurried block, he had been unable to use his full strength. As a result, he had been at a slight disadvantage. But Xiao Wuji was appalled. Long Chen was absolutely terrifying. This was his first time running into someone with such a powerful physical body. Zhang Wuyan's hand suddenly blossomed with light. With simple waves of her hand, dazzling fist images slammed toward him. At the same time, a chilling sword key rose. Yu Qianchen also attacked. Long Chen didn't even look at Song Wuyan's fist images. He directly slammed his fist toward her flat chest. Lightning rushing hand. Song Wuyan directly switched from offense to defense. Seeing him come at her in such a suicidal way, she naturally was not willing to be injured. As a result, she was forced back by Long Chen's punch. Feeling an ache from her hand, she couldn't help being shocked by his powerful thunder force. As soon as Long Chen forced back Song Wuyan, he spun around and clapped his Thunder Force shrouded hands together. He caught a simple sword between his hands. The tip was less than an inch from his heart. Yu Qianchen hastily tried to pull back his sword. But when it came to physical strength, he couldn't compare to Long Chen. His sword was stuck in Long Chen's grasp. My brother is also a sword cultivator. Compared to him, you're just trash. Scram. Long Chen suddenly slammed the sword's hilt into Yu Qianchen's chest. He was blown back and almost coughed up blood. But he clamped his mouth shut and swallowed it back down, not letting others see that he had been injured by Long Chen. Although he hit it very well, the monastery heads all saw through it. Long Chen's attack just now had shaken his organs. That injury was negligible and could be instantly healed. But it was still shocking. Shu Guanzi's water dragon suddenly appeared and attacked him. This time, hundreds of them appeared at the same time while Shu Guanzi himself was hiding in the distance, not giving Long Chen a chance to attack him. Long Chen smiled coldly. Last time, these water dragons had given him a headache. But now, his power had risen to a point that these water dragons were unable to threaten him. Furthermore, he saw that Shu Guanzi was acting craftily. These water dragons weren't to attack him, but to give him some pressure. He was leaving attacking to the others. Xiao Wuji and Song Wuyan both charged at him. Long Chen met their torrential attacks with his fists. Long Chen, let's see just how you survive today. 
Zhang Huayan ground her teeth. There are many people who want my life, but I'm still alive. Who do you think you are to threaten me? Sneered Long Chen. Bastard. You. Careful. The distant let out a cry. Long Chen suddenly used his back to receive Xiao Wuji's fist. With a muffled bang, Long Chen borrowed Xiao Wuji's punch to shoot like lightning towards Hong Wuian. The thunder force on his fists brightened as he smashed his fist at her. Boom. Although Xu Guan's he had given her a warning, Zhang Wuian was still sent flying. She was not Long Chen's match in strength. The only reason she was able to exchange blows with him was because of the light on her hands. That was her bloodline energy. It was different from ordinary spiritual Yuan and extremely powerful. But even so, when Long Chen attacked her with full strength, she was unable to completely block him. Before she could stabilize, Long Chen's fist had arrived. This fist was even stronger. He didn't give her any breathing room. Zhang Wuian was shocked by Long Chen's attack power. Once Long Chen grasped an opening, he would attack until his opponent was defeated. She no longer had any room to counterattack. She could only focus on defense. But Long Chen had taken the advantage, and she would definitely be heavily injured by blocking this fist. Annihilation slash. Just as his fist was about to reach her, Sword Key came slashing toward him. Without even turning back, Long Chen knew it was Yu Kai Anshan's attack. Even before the Sword Key reached him, he felt a chill in his bones. A sword cultivator's attack was just that terrifying. Now if he wanted to attack Song Wuian, he would have to take Yu Kai Anshan's attack directly. Although he was confident in heavily injuring her and making her lose her ability to fight temporarily, a sword cultivator's attack couldn't be received lightly. Even Long Chen didn't dare to do so rashly. He spun on his left foot, and the attack meant for Song Wuian was used to block a 300-meter sword key. That sword key was incredibly powerful and it seemed as if space was being directly sliced apart by it. Boom. Long Chen was actually sent flying by Yu Kai Anshan's sword key. Sword cultivators are truly worthy of being the number one attackers. They're terrifying. The disciples were all shocked. Long Chen's display so far had shocked them. His power was enough to fight the four heavenly geniuses. But previously, Yu Kai Anshan hadn't used his strongest attacks. Now that he was finally releasing his full strength, it was enough to send Long Chen flying. Careful. After sending Long Chen flying, Yu Kai Anshan's expression suddenly changed. Long Chen was sent flying, but he was sent flying straight toward Xu Guanzi. Just at that moment, Long Chen stamped his foot on the ground and increased his speed, shooting like a cannonball at Xu Guanzi. The light on his fists became blinding. You absolutely can't block it. Dodge. Shouted Yu Kai Anshan. He knew Long Chen had allowed himself to be blown back intentionally. Furthermore, he realized that Long Chen had used some unknown technique to absorb a portion of his strength. In other words, Long Chen's fist didn't just contain his personal power, but a portion of Yu Kai Anshan's power. That was why Yu Kai Anshan gave him such a solemn warning. Heaven trapping water prison. Even without Yu Kai Anshan's warning, Xu Guan's he could sense the terrifying power contained in Long Chen's fist. He directly summoned a huge water prison that surrounded Long Chen. Long Chen sneered and directly sent forth a fist. Boom. That huge water prison instantly exploded. But Long Chen's attack continued onward to strike Xu Guanzi. Xu Guanzi was directly sent flying, wildly vomiting blood. Chapter 742 The Great Earth's Protection Translator Born to be Long Chen's fist didn't just contain his own power. When Yu Kai Anshan had attacked him, he had also stealthily absorbed a small part of his sword's power. Unlike some magical arts, he couldn't absorb 50% or more of his opponent's power. He was only capable of absorbing a trace of it. But just that trace was enough. Long Chen was just borrowing that trace of energy to release a long-range attack similar to Sword Key. However, this attack wasn't perfect. The Heaven Trapping Water Prison had blocked 70% of its power. So Xu Guan's he had only been struck by 30%. But if Xu Guan's he hadn't summoned the Heaven Trapping Water Prison, then in his careless state, even if he wasn't instantly defeated, he would still be heavily injured. The spectators were stunned to see Xu Guanzi be injured and vomit blood. Why? Why can't I understand any of it? Muttered one disciple. Most of them were unable to tell what had just happened. At the start, everyone had assumed Long Chen was fated to have a miserable ending from being attacked by all of the four heavenly geniuses. There had even been quite a few people who had felt pity for him, outraged by the injustice. But as soon as they exchanged blows, that thought became non-existent. It wasn't Long Chen being miserably suppressed, but the four of them. How is this happening? Just how terrifying is Long Chen? 
One of the monastery heads couldn't help but open his mouth to express his shock. The most shocked ones were Xu Yunkong and the other family heads. It had to be known that the four heavenly geniuses were the four families' strongest junior generation disciples. The fact that they would be suppressed by Long Chen was unacceptable to them. Long Chen should have technically counted as an expert on the side of the Shu family, but it seemed that up until now, Shu Wuhan had no intention of pulling him into the Shu family. Ever since her falling out with her family, Shu Wuhan had already become completely disappointed in them. What had happened in the Zhuanshan Sea had made their relationship even worse. Once Shu Guanzi had taken the lead to kick Long Chen out, their relationship became even worse. The disharmony was gradually escalating. Although Shu Wuhan hadn't said anything, everyone could already see that she would no longer stand on the side of the Shu family. The current Shu Wuhan no longer possessed any loyalty to them. With a talented disciple like Long Chen and the favor of the Visect Master, Shu Wuhan could not be touched by the Shu family. Now Shu Yankong was slightly regretting having Shu Guan's he suppress Long Chen to force Shu Wuhan to lower her head to him. If he had known Long Chen was so powerful, he would have formed a better relationship with Shu Wuhan and pull Long Chen to his side. At that time, his Shu family would have had two peerless geniuses. Amongst the four families, who would be able to contend with them then? But now that was too late. Both Shu Guan's he and Long Chen viewed the other as an enemy. Although it hadn't reached the point of either you die or I die. It seemed it wasn't that far off either. In truth, the power Long Chen has displayed isn't much stronger than any one of them, said the Visect Master. What? Everyone was startled. If he wasn't so much stronger, how could he suppress the four of them? The power he is displaying is truly not that much different than them. Even if it's greater, it's only by a slight amount. It's just that his battle experience gives him a huge advantage. Each time they use any technique, he immediately sees through their weak points and launches a sharp attack. So the four of them are completely flustered. Can you not see that the four of them clearly are too immature compared to Long Chen? Yu Kianchen and Song Wuyan attacked at the same time. Theoretically, Long Chen would have had to use his back to receive one of their attacks. But what actually happened? As soon as he saw them attacking, he took the initiative to break their rhythm. Before they could even launch their attacks, he charged at Song Wuyan forcing her back, and then went to handle Yu Kianshan, who possesses the greatest offensive strength. Now look, Xiao Wuj and Xu Guanzi's water dragons are about to attack him. Long Chen takes a single step back, dodging the attack of the water dragon. Now the water dragon blocks Xiao Wuji's line of sight, making his movement slower. He has pulled back his original attack. Before he prepares a new attack, Long Chen attacks him. The four of them have no idea how to cooperate. Long Chen is easily grasping their openings. He's playing with them in the palm of his hand. This doesn't show that Long Chen is particularly powerful, but simply that their cooperation is chaotic. Having more people isn't necessarily a good thing. They aren't able to bring out their true power. Hearing this, everyone came to a sudden realization. They managed to see the crux of the matter. The rhythm of the battle was entirely under Long Chen's control. Although Xu Guanzi, Xiao Wuji, Yu Kianshan, and Song Wuyan have also fought with the corrupt path. It was only a few times. But you all know that Long Chen has experienced more life and death battles than anyone. He can rely on just his battle instincts to dodge their attacks. Thus, they are suppressed. Have you noticed that many attacks coming for his back are accurately blocked by him without him even looking? This is the difference between geniuses raised behind a fence and a demon produced by the wilderness, said the Visect Master. Everyone smiled at the final joke. But then, they were lost in thought. Long Chen had shown them many shocking things. They had to slowly digest them. Ha ha ha. Do you see? This is our boss. Even one against four. He can still defeat Chiring them. Who was that brat who wanted to show off just now? Come out here and fart again. Sneered Guo ran at the opposing crowd. Those people naturally didn't dare to say anything anymore. They were all intimidated by Long Chen's terrifying combat abilities. They had never imagined that the undefeatable heroes in their hearts would still be suppressed when they worked together against one person. Does this mean Long Chen will win? Probed a monastery head. How could it be so easy? The four heavenly geniuses aren't stupid. They'll sooner or later find the crux of the problem. Said another monastery head. Bang. Xiao Wuji was kicked in the stomach by Long Chen and sent flying. Vomiting blood. He furiously roared. Fuck. I don't care. I'm not cooperating with you bastards anymore. Xiao Wuji felt too stifled. In this kind of battle, he wasn't even able to bring out half his power. Either he was afraid of injuring his own people, 
or he was afraid of his own people's attacks landing on him. He had been blown back by Long Chen several times now, infuriating him so much that his teeth creaked. The Great Earth's protection. A set of yellow armor appeared on his body. Long Chen's heart shook. He sensed endless energy surging into Xiao Wuji from the ground. Die. Xiao Wuji charged. The ground shook with each step he took. Long Chen was startled to find that he had been locked in place by the earth. He was unable to dodge this attack. Boom. Long Chen blocked with his full strength. But he still felt like a wild bull had rammed into him. He vomited blood and tumbled back. Landing hundreds of meters away. Pain radiated from his arms. They had actually broken. He was shocked. Xiao Wuji was actually this powerful. Ha ha ha. Xiao Wuji has finally released his full strength. HMPH. Who does Long Chen think he is? The four of them were just playing with him before. Now that they're serious, Long Chen will be completely suppressed. One disciple laughed. That was the disciple whose nose had been broken. He had already recovered now, and he had also grown smarter. He said his words while hiding in the crowd, not letting the dragon blood warriors get close. How stupid. Boss's strength isn't something you ants can comprehend, sneered Guo Ran. Currently, Guo Ran was a rank 2 celestial. He could also count as a heavenly genius. However, he didn't have any awareness of that status and started cursing that lowly disciple. Long Chen slowly stood back up. He wiped some blood from his mouth. Looking at Xiao Wuji, he said, Looks like you're the stupidest one here. The others are all holding back to fight for the final treasure, but you've already revealed your full strength. When the true fight starts, you'll still lose the final reward. The reason the others haven't done the same as you is because they were waiting for you. And as expected, you really didn't let them down. Long Chen's voice was full of ridicule. He had long since guessed what the four of them were thinking. They wanted to maintain their peak condition for the fight amongst themselves. That was the only reason he had suppressed them. One reason was truly because of his profound battle experience, while the other reason was that they were intentionally maintaining this kind of situation. Although he didn't know if this was what they had been thinking of at the beginning, after he had released his strength, he knew that they had begun to think this. Long Chen's words caused the spectators to be greatly disappointed. If this was true, then these heavenly geniuses were truly embarrassing. What nonsense. Don't try to drive a wedge between us, you sinister wretch. Just shut your mouth, sneered Xu Guanzi. To the other three, he said, everyone, let's all not hold back. The warm-up is over. Let's immediately kick Long Chen out and then have a fair fight for the final treasure. Warm-up? The spectators couldn't help being stunned. This kind of terrifying fight was just a warm-up? You're right. The warm-up should end. Let's start the real fight. Long Chen smiled and then disappeared. Chapter 743 Four Star Battle Armor Translator Born to be Long Chen suddenly disappeared, startling them. His speed was too fast. When they finally caught sight of him again, he was already in front of Xu Guanzi. Xu Guanzi hastily fell back, water runes forming a huge shield in front of him. Thunder filled the air. Long Chen no longer was fighting with his fists. A three-meter lightning spear had appeared in his hand. The water shield was pierced as easily as paper by the lightning spear. The lightning spear continued toward Xu Guanzi after breaking through his defense. Xu Guanzi did his best to dodge, but he was still struck in the shoulder. Blood splashed along with Xu Guanzi's miserable cry. His shoulder had been smashed to bits. His arm flew into the air. Long Chen's gaze was like blades. Endless lightning swam around him from his lightning spear. Of the four of you, you're the weakest. But your mouth is the most wretched. Who can compare to you in terms of wretchedness? Sneered Long Chen. Xu Guanzi's mouth was truly loathsome. Combined with his disdainful expression, Long Chen's fury was ignited. Previously, Long Chen had fought them barehanded and thus they had gotten used to his attack range and tempo. But now that he had suddenly changed to a lightning spear, he almost one-shotted Xu Guanzi. That attack had been aimed at Xu Guanzi's heart. If he hadn't reacted fast enough, it would have killed him. Everyone was stunned. The fellow who had once cursed Guo Ran kept his mouth tightly shut now. Long Chen is a lightning cultivator. Last time, Long Chen hadn't used any thunder force when fighting Xu Guanzi. Had he been holding back? In truth, Long Chen hadn't been holding back. It was just that Lai Long and Huo Long had rushed off to eat. As for the lightning rushing hand he had used, that had been shocking. But there were quite a few battle skills that could transform a person's spiritual yuan into elemental energy. It wasn't so rare. But this lightning spear was no battle skill. Only an elemental cultivator would be able to condense a spirit weapon like this. Everyone, don't hold back. Attack. 
Zhang Huayan was the first to recover from her shock. She formed a hand seal, and a strange mark appeared in her eyes. Ancestral blood support. Her heavenly Dao runes actually transformed, taking the same shape as the mark in her eyes. Those runes slowly condensed into a pair of blood-colored wings. She slowly rose into the sky, looking down on Long Chen. Her aura had erupted to a completely new level. A powerful pressure descended. Even the distant disciples felt like the blood in their bodies was about to solidify. This is the might of King's blood. Long Chen, now you should understand the difference between us. In front of this absolute pressure, there's no way for you to fight back. Zhang Huayan arrogantly looked down on Long Chen. King's blood? What's that used for? Making blood tofu? Blood sausage? Blood pudding? Sneered Long Chen. This was another bloodline suppression. Perhaps against others it was useful, but with the circulation of his divine ring, he could essentially ignore that suppression. You dare insult my grand bloodline? You really deserve to die. Zhang Huayan's wings flapped and she shot toward Long Chen, her speed incomparable. Others were unable to even see her. Boom. Long Chen slammed his lightning spear forward. Despite digging his feet into the ground, he was knocked back hundreds of meters away. How powerful. This isn't the power of her physical body, but the support of her bloodline runes. Curious. A solemn expression appeared on Long Chen's face. As expected, none of the four heavenly geniuses were easy to deal with. Although Shu Guan's he was on the same level as the rest of them, that was just because his element restrained the other three. In truth, Shu Guan's he was the weakest of them. 10,000 sword formation. The sky darkened. At some unknown point, over 10,000 swords had appeared beside Yu Kai Anshan. Those weren't true swords. They were condensed from his spiritual Yuan. Each one of them contained the will of the sword Dao. They turned into rays of light that shot toward Long Chen. Heavens, that's Yu Kai Anshan's supreme technique. He's trying to kill Long Chen. Some of the disciples recognized this move because they had borne witness to its power before. In one of the righteous and corrupt battles, Yu Kai Anshan had used this move to slaughter countless corrupt experts. The move's power was terrifying, and its scope was huge, making it almost impossible to dodge or block. A person could only wait to be killed once he launched this move. Sword cultivators were claimed to be number one in terms of attack prowess. Seeing these swords shooting forward, it truly seemed like this was a power no man could block. Long Chen was instantly swallowed by the horde of swords. Shockingly, the ground, which had endured such a bombardment previously without being harmed, now began to crack. Even this powerful platform was unable to bear such a fierce attack. Everyone finally understood why sword cultivators were praised as number one in terms of offense. Perhaps only sword cultivators could instantly release a power several times greater than their own like this. Was Long Chen's corpse destroyed? When the dust faded, people couldn't see any sign of Long Chen. But there was no blood on the ground. Where is he? Even Shu Guan's he and the others were startled. Long Chen had actually disappeared. Are you looking for me? A voice rang out from the sky. Everyone hastily raised their heads. Their expressions involuntarily changed. Long Chen was floating in the sky. A pair of huge wings had appeared on his back. Those wings had been formed from endless lightning runes. The berserk aura they released made it seem like they wanted to destroy the world. Lightning wings on his back, and a lightning spear in his hand. Up in the air, overlooking them all, he seemed just like an arrogant lightning god. Everyone felt themselves to be so minuscule in front of the destructive will coming from his thunder force. The current Long Chen seemed like the ruler of the world. Whoever he wanted to exterminate would be immediately exterminated without being able to resist Novaloon.com. He was actually able to condense lightning wings. That would require incredibly vast thunder force. No wonder even I almost lost sight of him, muttered the Visect Master to himself. When those swords had been about to reach Long Chen, he had suddenly summoned these lightning wings. These were lightning wings he had condensed based on the Flamma Cloud Wings principles. Long Chen had found that these lightning wings were much faster than the Flamma Cloud Wings. They were able to break through spatial resistance, and so they were more suitable for combat. His speed had been so fast that many people had thought they had seen him devoured by the swords. But that had just been an afterimage. Suddenly, he shot towards Hong Wuian. People could only see a brilliant ray of light. They were unable to see Long Chen's figure. Zhang Wuian had not expected Long Chen to possess such a powerful trump card. He was even faster than her. Boom. Zhang Wuian's palm blocked the tip of his spear. Long Chen was knocked back, while Zhang Wuian didn't even move. Although you might be faster than me, I can suppress you in terms of power with my ancestral blood support. Today, 
you'll definitely lose. Zhang Huian took the initiative to attack Long Chen. Arun lit up on her palm, giving her attack immense strength. At the same time, Xiao Wuji also attacked. Covered in his earthen armor, he smashed his fist toward Long Chen. Yu Kai Anshan also moved. His sword pointed toward the sky, and a ray of sword key sword. Everyone felt a chill. The three of them all attacked at the same time. Xu Guanzi, who had only just recovered from his injury, was filled with rancor. Clenching his teeth, a blood red mark lit up on his forehead. The water energy around him formed into one supreme water dragon that charged toward Long Chen. The four of them had attacked together. Furthermore, Xu Guanzi's water dragon also possessed a water elemental force field. No matter how Long Chen tried to dodge, he would be stuck in his force field, which would cause his movements to slow. He couldn't possibly dodge their attacks. His hatred of Long Chen had already reached a peak. This hatred also contained envy, as he was unable to accept that Long Chen was this powerful. He was unable to accept that a bumpkin without any backing could be even stronger than him. Someone whose family had gone all out to groom into the greatest genius. He wanted to kill Long Chen. Even if he couldn't obtain the final treasure, he wanted to kill him. So he no longer held back and released his strongest attack. The monastery heads all stood up with grave expressions. Perhaps the Zhuanshan Dao sect was about to lose a genius. His retreat path had been blocked, and the four heavenly geniuses' attacks were about to reach him. Long Chen suddenly smiled, battle intent soaring out of him. When had he ever been afraid of someone in the same realm? Four Star Battle Armor Chapter 744 Ancestral Spirit Blessing Translator Born to be four stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Although one of them was faint, it was definitely there. Long Chen's aura erupted like a volcano. Endless pressure spread. A pillar of key soared out of him and into the sky. Long Chen felt that the energy inside him was boiling. If he didn't release it, his own body would explode. In the face of their four attacks, he slammed his lightning spear forward. Boom. The land trembled. The collision released a blinding light, and it was as if the very space they were in was about to be torn asunder. The blinding light was actually heavenly Dao runes. They shattered in the air, turning into multicolored dust and light before disappearing. Five figures flew out of the dust. Even when the four of them were going all out, they still didn't have an advantage. All five of them were blown back into the distance, and Shu Guanzi even vomited blood. Everyone was deathly silent for a moment. All their shocked gazes locked onto Long Chen. They had never seen such a monstrous person before. When the four heavenly geniuses joined hands, then even the monastery heads would be instantly killed if they didn't have enchanted items to protect themselves. But Long Chen had managed to fight evenly against them. That was even more shocking than when he had previously suppressed them, because he had only done that through his battle experience and technique, making it so that they couldn't release their power. But this time, there had been no technique to speak of. It had been entirely a competition of brute strength. Although they felt this result to be unbelievable, the reality was before them. Long Chen's power was enough to contend against the four of them. In other words, if they continued like this, then with his profound combat experience, the four of them wouldn't have a chance of winning. Who would have believed such a result? But after seeing this, who wouldn't? Other than the Dragonblood Warriors, everyone was completely shocked. As for the Dragon Blood Warriors, their blood was boiling with battle intent. They had an urge to immediately charge over and fight as well. Each time they saw Long Chen fight, they couldn't stop their blood from boiling. Each of them watched him worshipfully. This godlike person had given them the ability to fight for the peak of the martial path and to stand on the same level as other geniuses. If it weren't for Long Chen, they would be nameless nobodies in the 108th monastery. If it weren't for Long Chen, they would most likely be ordinary bone-forging disciples. If it weren't for Long Chen, then they would never be able to participate in the Zhuanshan Dao sect's trials. They had a thirst to always follow Long Chen and fight alongside him. Even if they had to spill their blood, even if they had to die, they could die with smiles on their faces. Of everyone present, only the Vice Sect Master was expressionless. He had thought of a legendary existence, but he wasn't sure. Long Chen raised his spear at the four shocked people. Since you've given me a gift, it's only right for me to reciprocate. Take care. Suddenly, space trembled. Long Chen's spear became a blade which he pointed toward the sky. Split the heavens. A huge lightning blade slashed down on the four of them. This blade seemed like it could cut apart the clouds, break apart the stars, and destroy anyone who was struck by it. The four of them were horrified. They were all locked down by his power. If they tried to run, it would just draw the attack to them first. Block together. 
profound water thousand layer shield, shouted Shu Guanzi. He hastily formed hand seals and summoned an immense water shield, rune superimposed in hundreds of layers. This was Shu Guanzi's strongest defense. It combined hundreds of water shields. Previously, he had been too careless and hadn't used it. That was because he was also worried about handling the others after killing Long Chen. After all, with his water element techniques, he still had a high chance of obtaining the treasure. But now Long Chen had displayed power that had far exceeded his expectations. Let alone fighting for the treasure, they might not even be able to keep their lives. He had no choice but to use his strongest technique. Although this was just the first form of split the heavens, both techniques looked the same physically. Furthermore, Long Chen's aura was terrifyingly powerful. They all smelled the scent of death from this move. If they were on their own, they would definitely die. Great Earthen Wall. Xiao Wuji slammed his hands on the ground, summoning a huge wall dozens of meters thick. Its hardness surpassed steel. The two of them had only just set up these defenses when Long Chen's lightning blade fell. Shu Guanzi's water shield had the ability to slowly reduce an attack's power. It released countless ripples to exhaust any attack. But a shield was torn apart easily. The lightning blade landed on the earthen wall. Boom. Xiao Wuji's expression completely changed. His wall shattered and Long Chen's attack still possessed enough energy to kill him. Flying Star Slash. Yu Kai Anshan struck. As a sword cultivator, the only techniques he knew were offensive ones. He used an attack to break Long Chen's attack. His sword key slashed onto Long Chen's lightning blade. But his sword key instantly exploded upon colliding. Great Ancestor. Hear your descendants call. Bestow me with your bloodline power. Awaken. Ancestral spirit blessing. Just as Long Chen's blade was about to reach them, a large hand protected the four of them. Boom. Long Chen's terrifying blade actually shattered upon striking the hand. Heavens. What is that? Startled cries rang out from the disciples. A huge figure had appeared behind Song Wuian. This figure was 300 meters tall, and its body was translucent. It was what had protected them. Zhang Wuyan's face was as pale as paper. A blood crystal had appeared on her forehead, and light shone from it. This child Wuyan, how could she be so foolish? The Wang family head was both startled and infuriated. This should be a secret art to overdraft her bloodline power, correct? Asked the Visect Master. Yes, this technique is extremely harmful to her body, and she can't maintain it for long. It's one of her life-protecting techniques, and she absolutely can't use it unless her life is in danger. This child, when did she become such a fool? The Wang family had sighed. This child had definitely been spoiled rotten. She didn't even think about the consequences of her actions. You don't need to be angry. If they always considered every single thing before acting, they wouldn't be youngsters. They need to mature in desperate straits, or no matter how good their talent is, they won't be able to grow. Committing mistakes isn't bad. It's a must for growth. The real thing to avoid is to have a peerless genius that doesn't dare to make any mistakes. Then their talent would just be wasted, said the Visect Master. The other three family heads didn't say anything, but inside, they sighed with relief at his words. Although their act could trick others, it couldn't trick the Visect Master. He merely smiled a bit. That smile was a bit ridiculing. Long Chen stared closely at that figure behind Song Wuian. He was extremely shocked. How was this technique so terrifying? Zhang Wuyan icily said, This is the activation of my bloodline. Although my ancestor has already passed away, through my spiritual strength and my bloodline power, it has come to protect its descendants. With my ancestral spirit here, you should know the difference between us. Long Chen shook his head. I really can't understand you children. Is relying on your ancestor's power really so worthy of pride? They've already died so long ago, but they still have to worry about you like this. You can't even let their soul rest in peace. If you weren't even able to defeat your Ingman in this kind of situation, would you go back to your family's ancestral tomb, dig up your ancestors, and then beg them to go fight for you? Long Chen didn't have the slightest good opinion of Song Wuyan. Although she might not look bad, she had some screws loose in her head. Fuck off, raged Song Wuyan. The huge figure behind her moved. It pointed its palms toward Long Chen, and a scarlet light shone from it. That light enveloped all the space around Long Chen. Furthermore, it came so quickly that it instantly enveloped him as soon as it moved. Long Chen felt an immense threat from that light. He slashed his lightning blade at it with his full strength. Boom. The light exploded along with his lightning blade. Long Chen was blown back dozens of meters away. What a terrifying attack. Long Chen was shocked. That attack had been similar to a spiritual attack. 
His thunder force was the bane of spiritual strength, but his lightning spear had still been destroyed. His thunder force restricts my ancestral spirit. Are you guys just going to watch? Zhang Wuyan suddenly turned to look at Xu Guanzi and the others. Their expressions changed slightly. They knew that continuing to conceal their power was impossible. Since we can't keep concealing our power, let's join hands. We'll kill Long Chen in one attack. Xu Guanzi suddenly smiled sinisterly. He bit one of his fingers and wiped the blood against his forehead. A blood red mark covered his entire face. Boom. Xu Guanzi's water runes seemed to come alive, and they released a torrential battle intent. Chapter 745 Win at All Costs Translator Born to be a 300-meter water dragon slowly condensed and let out a furious roar. It was as if it was a true dragon. The dragon was comprised of water runes, but now two red eyes appeared on it that made it look extremely sinister. Most terrifying of all, when he summoned this water dragon, Xu Guanzi's originally handsome face withered, making him appear like a zombie. Everyone was shocked, and the most uneasy one was Xu Yunkong. Only he knew that Xu Guanzi had increased the power of his water dragon through his life energy. He was using up his essence blood in exchange for ten times the power. This was an incredibly vicious technique that would shorten his lifespan. Now that things had progressed to this point, it was no longer an ordinary competition, but a battle to the death. This Long Chen really is abominable. If he wasn't here, things would have never progressed to this point. Since he had already died outside, he should never have returned. Xu Yunkong was clenching his teeth. In his fury, he ended up accidentally saying what he was thinking. The vice sect master's expression sank. His gaze was like a blade stabbing into Xu Yunkong. A formless killing intent crashed down on him. Xu Yunkong suddenly felt all his energy being stripped from his body. He no longer felt any connection to his spiritual Yuan. It was like he was an ordinary mortal, and he instantly fell on the ground. Even the monastery heads around Xu Yunkong were affected. They felt their souls almost flee from their bodies. The Grim Reaper sickle was pressed right up against their throats. Do you want to say that again? The Vice Sect Master looked icily at Xu Yunkong. Vice Sect Master, please spare me. Disciple let his mouth go out of control. Xu Yunkong was absolutely terrified. He knew the Vice Sect Master was truly angered. If he said something wrong again, there really was a real danger of him losing his life. The Vice Sect Master icily said, as the head of your family, as well as the leader of nine super monasteries. Don't you feel ashamed about being so biased and envious? Were all your years wasted? Don't you like to pose as a brilliant sage with far-reaching foresight? If you have that much ability, why don't you use it against the corrupt path? All you know how to do is poison your own people. Why do you want to kill your own disciple just because he is talented? When did your heart become so twisted? The vice sect master's gaze was as sharp as a blade. It looked like he had an urge to immediately kill Xu Yunkong. Xu Yunkong's sweat instantly drenched his robes. When this is over, go into seclusion and reflect upon yourself. Xu Yunkong's expression changed. This was clearly telling him to give up his position as the family head. But he didn't dare to argue. Who asked him to be so loose-lipped? He had actually said things he should have kept to himself. Yes, many thanks for Vice Sect Master's wisdom, said Xu Yunkong. Then congratulations brother Yun Kong. In the future, you'll be able to live a carefree life of freedom. I truly envy you. Zha Xian Ai was the first to offer his congratulations. Xu Yun Kong almost died of rage. But he didn't even have an urge to say anything back. He was incomparably furious. But he didn't dare to release his fury on the Vice Sect Master. All of this hatred would have to be placed on Long Chen. Originally, things had been going well. But as soon as Long Chen had appeared. Everything had changed. He had even lost his position as the family head. Although he had already been planning on abdicating his position, there was a large difference between voluntarily and involuntarily giving up his position. Xu Yunkong didn't just hate Long Chen. He also hated Xu Wuhan. The only one he didn't hate was himself. Ha ha ha. Good. Then everyone can go all out. Great Earth and Spirit. Seeing Song Wu Ian and Xu Guan's he release their greatest power. Xiao Wu Ji laughed and squatted down. Blood red runes lit up on his hands, and he slammed them onto the ground. The ground shook as endless runes surged. A mound slowly rose out of the ground. It continued to rise until it was 300 meters high. A head suddenly appeared on that mound, then limbs and a torso. In the end, it became a huge earthen giant. That earth giant was covered in shining earth runes. All the earth's energy was drawn into it. The solid platform even broke around it. Since you've all brought out your trump cards. I won't be so shameless as to hold back. 
Yu Kianchen's expression was cold. He focused on his sword. Suddenly, the heavenly Dao runes behind him disappeared. His sword began to shine like the sun. A ray of sword key sword. One that made people's hair stand on end. How did he manage to merge the heavenly Daos with the sword Dao? No one had ever heard of such a technique. This was definitely something Yu Kianchen had developed himself. Apologies. Long Chen. This is my heavenly sword art. You should feel honored to be the first person to die to this technique. Yu Kianchen pointed his sword at Long Chen. The light from it was blinding, making it so people couldn't even see his figure anymore. Long Chen hadn't expected the four of them to still possess such terrifying trump cards. He was truly shocked. But now he was a bit irritated that the four of them were looking at him as if he were already dead. I've had enough of your little show-off act. I'll bring out my true power as well. Long Chen sneered and put away his lightning blade. A black saber appeared in his hand. This was a middle-grade enchanted item that had come from a corrupt expert. A fiendish aura came from it. Although he found it dislikable, it was both heavy and long enough. After all, spirit weapons were not as easy to use as true weapons. In front of the four heavenly geniuses' strongest trump cards, he had no choice but to use his full strength. He was slightly nervous, but he was also a bit excited. A boiling battle intent surged within him. Kill him. The four of them had the same thought. Yu Kianchen was the first to move. His blinding sword stabbed toward Long Chen. Long Chen's heart trembled. He finally had to admit that Yu Kianchen was truly terrifying. He had condensed his heavenly Dao runes into his sword, and his sword key had merged with his sword intent. His power was limitless. He didn't take it head on. The lightning wings behind him flapped, and he rapidly retreated. The lightning wings pushed his speed to the peak, making it so others couldn't lock onto him. Boom. That sword key ended up slashing onto the ground. Heavens. The platform was cut apart. Shocked cries rang out. Up until now, the intense battle hadn't caused much damage to the platform. But now, a huge ditch was cut into it. It could be seen just how terrifying this sword key was. But the ditch had only just appeared when it rapidly fused back together. The runes on the platform had completely healed the damage. Long Chen had only just dodged Yu Kianchen's attack when a roaring water dragon came at him. It was too big, and Long Chen couldn't dodge it. He slashed his saber at it. Boom. The water dragon was forced back, but it didn't explode. That shocked Long Chen. It was truly worthy of being an ultimate trump card. Its power was at least ten times greater than before. Red light split the void. Long Chen had only just forced back the water dragon and had yet to stabilize. There was no way he could dodge this red light noveloon.com lightning finger. This attack had come from Song Wuyan. The red light was not just a physical attack, but a terrifying spiritual attack. An ordinary block would be ineffective. A bolt of lightning crashed into the red light, releasing blinding light. Their attacks ended up cancelling each other out. What? Long Chen had only just blocked the red light when a huge fist appeared behind him. This huge fist, which was even bigger than a whole house, ruthlessly smashed into him. Such a powerful attack had come without any sound or warning. By the time Long Chen noticed it, he couldn't dodge. He could only circulate his spiritual yuan and use his back to receive it. Boom. He smashed into the ground like a shooting star. Intense pain radiated from his back and he felt like his bones were about to break. He couldn't help being startled. If he hadn't summoned the four-star battle armor, such a terrifying attack would have at least heavily injured him. Heavens. They really are all monsters. How can he act so nonchalant after receiving such a terrifying attack? Is. Is he really a human like us? The disciples felt like they were going crazy. The five of them possessed inconceivable power, which had already surpassed their imaginations. Let alone them. Even the rank 1 celestials were pale. They had done their best in cultivating, and although they knew they wouldn't be able to defeat Charinga rank 2 celestial, they had thought that they would at least possess some ability to fight them. At the very least, they should have been able to endure a hundred exchanges. But as this battle grew more intense, the number of exchanges they estimated they could handle dropped. It went from a hundred, to ten, to three, to one. Now, they had completely given up on even that. They found that let alone exchanging blows, just the aftershocks from this battle could kill them. They were not even on the same level. Just how did Long Chen train his physical body? The monastery heads were all shocked. This kind of physical body was something they had never even heard of, let alone seen. Even Xiao Wuji, who claimed to possess a monstrous physical body, the one said to possess the greatest strength in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, couldn't compare to Long Chen. Long Chen stood up. He saw Shu Guanzi smiling sinisterly. 
He immediately realized that the reason he hadn't noticed Xiao Wuji's attack was because of Xu Guan's he. He had used his water runes to isolate his perception. Seeing that he hadn't killed Long Chen, Xiao Wuji shot forward. Following him, the earth giant charged. At the same time, the other three also attacked. Chapter 746 Space Lock Talisman Translator Born to be Long Chen snorted. His lightning wings shook, and he slashed his saber at the earth giant's fist. This was a collision of pure power. The earth giant was forced back a dozen steps, and with its huge body, those dozen steps equated a mile, which instantly exposed Xiao Wuji. Long Chen was also knocked back, but with the flap of his lightning wings, he shot toward Xiao Wuji. This earth giant had been summoned by him. As long as he cut down Xiao Wuji or injured him, he would be powerless to control the earth giant. Xiao Wuji suddenly took out a huge hammer. It was a treasure he had obtained from the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. Although it was only a middle grade enchanted item, it had earth runes on it. In his hands, it would be able to release the power of a high grade enchanted item. Saber and hammer collided. Despite the hammer, Xiao Wuji was sent flying. He vomited a mouthful of blood. Now that Long Chen had summoned the four star battle armor, Xiao Wuji was no longer able to challenge Long Chen in physical strength. He could only rely on his earth giant to fight for him. Long Chen was just about to chase and completely remove Xiao Wuji from the fight when Chilling Sword Key came at him. His wings flashed, and he dodged to the side. Yu Kai Anshan's attacks were too sharp. He didn't want to face him head on. That was because his weapon wasn't good enough. If he fought with him for too long, his weapon would probably shatter. As for Blood Drinker, it was in a critical state. Long Chen didn't want to interrupt its healing process. He could only use this Black Saber. So Long Chen could only dodge Yu Kai Anshan's attacks. Now that his attacks contained Heavenly Dao runes, ordinary weapons weren't able to block it. Surrounded by the four of them, Long Chen's Saber danced. He did his best to dodge Yu Kai Anshan's attacks and focus his own attacks on Xiao Wuji. Xiao Wuji's offense and defense were both purely physical. To Long Chen, who specialized in physical strength, he was the best target. As for Song Wuyan, the figure behind her was rather hard to deal with. It was different from the earth giant and seemed to possess its own consciousness. Whether it was in terms of offense or defense, it possessed very few weak points. Xu Guan's he was hiding behind his water dragon, and Long Chen was unable to do anything to it for now. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, he could easily unleash a sudden attack to destroy the water dragon, but the other three would block him now. He had no chance. So Xiao Wuji was his best target. Adopt the platform. Sword Key raged. Saber images slashed. And explosive sounds echoed out. The all-out battle between the five of them was truly a world-shaking one. All the monastery heads and disciples were watching closely. This was the disciples' first time seeing such a fierce battle. However, over 80% of them were focused on Long Chen. The four heavenly geniuses were the idols of countless disciples in the Zhuanshan Dao sect they considered them true geniuses, legendary figures that couldn't be defeated. But these four were actually unable to do anything to Long Chen. Xiao Wuji was even repeatedly blown back and appeared extremely wretched. This scene was deeply shocking. This Long Chen really is heaven defying, sighed one of the monastery heads. The four heavenly geniuses had even used self-mutilating techniques to unleash their greatest power but they were still unable to do anything to Long Chen. This had turned into a battle of attrition, let alone the other monastery heads. Even Chu Wuhan was stunned by Long Chen's combat prowess. She hadn't expected there was such a terrifying monster in her hands. The most hateful thing was that this monster spent all day laughing and joking without even one proper thought. He didn't possess the slightest mannerism of an expert. Like a ruffian, his coarse mouth spouted whatever it wanted. Everyone had been tricked by this outer appearance. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen was forced into an impossible position. He had to use his saber to block Yu Kai Anshan's sword. As a result, his saber was cut in two. His weapon's been destroyed. Attack! shouted Xu Guanzi. His water dragon shot toward Long Chen. Now, Long Chen had no suitable weapon for himself. He had no enchanted level sabers left, and he wasn't suited to using other weapons. As for lower grade weapons, they were useless to him. If he used a spirit weapon, then with each clash, it would cause his spirit weapon to explode. Now that the four of them had released their greatest power, they were just too strong. With the four of them charging at him, Long Chen had no other choice. His arms shook and two lights flew out, one blue and one violet. Lai Long, Huo Long, destroy them. Two mile long dragons roared. One was made of lightning, while the other was made of fire. 
A terrifying pressure shook the sky. What? That lightning contains the destructive will of the heavenly deos. That's clearly tribulation lightning. That flame, it contains the ability to ignite the heavens. Isn't it an earth flame? How could Long Chen possess an earth flame? Everyone was stupefied. No one had thought that Long Chen was still hiding such terrifying trump cards. In the 36th Super Monastery, the fact that Long Chen possessed an earth flame was no longer a secret. Xu Wuhan had already told her family head that since Long Chen could subdue an earth flame, he was definitely someone blessed with karmic luck, and he should be raised with their full resources. At the very least, he should receive a celestial's treatment. But at that time, Xu Yankong was completely focused on Xu Guanzhi. He hadn't paid too much attention to her request, and all he had said was that they could discuss it later. As a result, now that Long Chen summoned an earth flame, it shocked everyone. Xu Guanzhi and the others' expressions completely changed. These two huge dragons were too terrifying. Boom. The two dragons intertwined. Lightning and flame raged. The four of them hastily retreated. Xu Guanzhi's water dragon, Xiao Wuji's earth giant, and Song Wuyan's ancestral spirit went to block it. But under the two dragons' attack, they all exploded. Xu Guanzhi, Xiao Wuji, and Song Wuyan coughed up blood. A portion of their souls and minds were connected to their attacks. As a result, they also received a backlash. How powerful. Even Long Chen was stunned. He hadn't thought that Lai Long and Huo Long had grown to such a level. Suddenly, the world trembled. A sharp sword appeared in the sky and slashed down on the two dragons. Boom. Lai Long and Huo Long instantly crumbled. This immense power caused the world to tremble. What? While everyone else was stunned, the Visek Master said, This power is not a part of him. They will be extinguished by the laws here. Lai Long and Huo Long had transformed into runes after being destroyed. But they once more condensed. They let out furious roars as they charged up at the sky. They had been enraged by the laws here. Both lightning and fire were berserk existences. Now that they had been provoked, they almost went berserk. As the two dragons soared, energy began to condense in the sky. Long Chen jumped in fright. Although he didn't know what was happening, he knew that the rules here didn't allow him to summon the two dragons' true bodies. Get back here. Long Chen hastily shouted at them through his soul. He didn't know exactly how terrifying this netherworld heaven staircase was, and who knew whether or not it really would exterminate the two of them. Those two berserk fellows still listened to Long Chen's order and returned to his arms. The huge vortex of energy that was forming in the sky dissipated. Everything returned to normal. It had happened so suddenly that people felt like they were dreaming. But the water dragon, earth giant, and ancestral spirit had disappeared as well. That told everyone that they weren't dreaming. As for Xu Guanzi and the others, they felt like they were in a nightmare. Other than Yu Kai Anshin, they were all heavily injured. Yu Kai Anshin, we've all paid such a heavy price. The treasure doesn't matter anymore. Killing Long Chen is the most important thing, and the only one that can kill him now is you, said Xu Guanzi. He took out a talisman and crushed it. Light suddenly enveloped Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly thought of the talisman Xu Guanzi had obtained from the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. Ha ha ha. Long Chen, how is the taste of my space lock talisman? Do you feel imprisoned? Laughed Xu Guanzi. The rancor in his voice was chilling. Long Chen found that the space around him had been turned into a prison. It was a bit similar to how the Visek Master had immobilized him previously, but the difference was that he could move. He was simply unable to change locations. Yu Kai Anshin, it'll be up to you. Xu Guanzi came up behind Yu Kai Anshin and poured in the little remaining energy he had into his body. The others immediately understood. The three of them were heavily injured, and their combat power had dropped sharply. Only Yu Kai Anshin still had the majority of his combat prowess. Furthermore, he was a sword cultivator. His attacks were the sharpest. Xiao Wuji and Song Wuyan both placed their hands on Yu Kai Anshin's body. Their spiritual Yuan poured into him. They had staked everything on him. They were unable to accept that the four of them would fail to defeaturing their opponent even when they worked together. If that happened, they would have no face left to call themselves the four heavenly geniuses. All right, then let's unleash a full strength attack. Yu Kai Anshin no longer hesitated. Holding his sword with both hands, he poured all their energy into it. Sword light blossomed turbulently. A huge sword image slashed down on Long Chen. Long Chen was appalled. This was their combined power, and it was definitely strong enough to instantly kill him. But he was unable to dodge. Just at this moment, his hand sank. A blood-red saber had appeared in his hand of its own accord. Long Chen became ecstatic. 
Chapter 747 Defeating the Heavenly Genius's Translator Born to be Long Chen was delighted. Blood Drinker had actually come to him of its own accord. His spiritual yuan immediately charged through 18 acupuncture points. This time, Long Chen didn't go through the first nine and then go through the next nine. It was true that the second form of Split the Heavens required activating the first form first, because the second form's power was added on top of the first. Previously, he had used the first form first and then used its power to activate the second form. But when using the first form, he had used up 70% of its power and then used the remaining 30% to activate the second form. Now that he was using 100% of its power to activate the second form, its power was unprecedented. It was precisely because of this immense power that split the heavens had high requirements on a user's physical body. If your body was too weak, it would just explode before you could unleash your attack. Now that Long Chen had condensed the fourth star, he could use the second form without expelling so much of the first form's power. Furthermore, he had to go all out now, because the attack coming for him was just too powerful. But as a result of not holding back, Long Chen's body was unable to bear the impact. His meridians almost cracked and intense pain radiated throughout his body. Runes lit up on Blood Drinker. A blood red saber image pierced into the clouds. Heaven and Earth trembled in front of this saber. Heaven decapitating sword. Boom. Yu Kianchen's sword image and Long Chen's saber image collided. Cracks began to appear in the sky from the power. The cracks continued to grow. It was like cracked glass that might explode at any moment. The barrier is being torn apart. The Visect Master was shocked. The protective barrier of the Netherworld Heaven Staircase isolated the outside from the inside so that no one could interfere in the trial. But this barrier actually shattered from this collision. Astral's winds erupted and some disciples were blown into the sky. This world-shaking collision had completely destroyed the platform. Dust filled the sky. Cough. Long Chen felt like his bones were about to shatter. That attack just now had been too vicious. He vomited blood. He hastily circulated the primal chaos bead using its life energy to heal. But he suddenly realized that the healing speed was now incredibly slow. Fuck. I forgot. This attack contained Heavenly Deo runes. Cursed Long Chen. Injuries containing the power of the Heavenly Deos were the most irritating to heal with the primal chaos bead. Long Chen was kneeling on the ground, so exhausted that even raising his head was difficult. But when he managed it, the scene he saw allowed him to sigh with relief. In the distance, four people were lying on the ground like dogs. Xu Guanxi in particular had almost been cut in two. Both ends of him were lying together. It was unknown if he was still alive. Yu Kianchen was unconscious, blood dripping out of his mouth. Some shattered bits of his organs were also around him. Xiao Wuji and Zhang Wuyan were further than him. Zhang Wuyan didn't even twitch, but Xiao Wuji tried to get up several times. However, he didn't succeed. Everyone was deathly silent. No one had expected that the final exchange would end up in a bitter situation where both sides suffered such heavy injuries suddenly. A light sound rang out. It wasn't loud, but in this deathly silence, it was incredibly ear-piercing. No, the treasure is disappearing, cried someone. Everyone hastily turned to look at the table. It was slowly descending. Time was up. Since no one had come to take the treasure, it was being recollected. How could this happen? They're all too injured to move. The four heavenly geniuses have exhausted all their heavenly deo energy and can't heal. Heavens, will the treasure really get away? After that huge battle, the end result is that they're all heavily injured and can't move while the treasure disappears? Will they end up going insane from rage? Everyone watched as the table slowly sank. If it wasn't so far, they would have had an urge to charge over themselves. Bisect master, one monastery head couldn't help opening his mouth. No, rules are rules. Even if the barrier has broken and we have a high chance of getting in there without activating the laws, does that previous person's death not dissuade you enough? But, there are no bots. Everything is faded. The fact that they couldn't open the treasure only means that they had no fate with it, said the Visect Master. In truth, even the Visect Master was completely focused on the table. He wanted to confirm something, and so he was waiting for the final result. TCH. Good thing I still have a backup plan. Little Snow. Quick, help me get the treasure. Long Chen smiled. Little Snow appeared out of his spiritual space. His sudden appearance stunned quite a few people. Ah, I remember. Long Chen seems to be a dabbler beast tamer. Little Snow shot forward. Just as the table was about to disappear, Little Snow managed to capture the case in his mouth. Just as he did, the table disappeared beneath the platform. 
Yes. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi cheered. In the end, it was Long Chen who obtained the final reward. Little Snow came back to Long Chen and placed the case beside him. He then let out an angry roar at the distant four people. Let it be. The cultivation path is just like this. There are never enough resources to go around. So competition is a must. There's no need to take it to the point of murder. Consoled Long Chen. Little Snow's meaning was that he should immediately go get rid of these people. They had already clearly been intent on killing Long Chen. To tell the truth, Long Chen had felt an intense urge to kill them at the time. But now seeing these heavenly geniuses lying on the ground like dead dogs, he really was a bit unable to be so ruthless. Furthermore, even if he did want to kill them, the Visect Master definitely wouldn't just watch as he slaughtered them. The result was obvious, so he naturally wouldn't do something so stupid. Little Snow, bring the treasure into the spiritual space. Long Chen returned Little Snow and the case into his spiritual space. After all, he didn't know what was inside the case, so he didn't want to immediately bring it into the primal chaos space. Many treasures were unable to enter spatial rings, especially lower grade spatial rings. Directly absorbing the case into the primal chaos space might expose that he had another space on him, one that was capable of storing special treasures. Suddenly, specific runes lit up on the platform. Long Chen felt his body lighten, and he was teleported off the netherworld heaven staircase. Long Chen. As soon as Long Chen was teleported off, Men Qi and Tang Wan'er came up and embraced him. The heavenly Dao runes had invaded his body, making it so the primal chaos beads life energy took an extremely long time to heal him. Long Chen didn't even have the strength to stand right now, but with two peerless beauties supporting him, he managed to get up. Acting extremely unsteady, he fell into their embrace. That was truly a feeling of rapture. Long Chen, are you all right? Men Qi took out a handkerchief and wiped off the dust on his face. Just look at his expression. He's definitely fine. Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen's expression and found it both funny and infuriating. This scoundrel really never knew how to be proper. The crowd was chaotic now because Shu Guanzi and the others had also been teleported off. Each of them had frightening injuries, and the only one still conscious was Xiao Wuji. The others had all fainted. Long Chen, you bastard. How could you be so vicious? Look how heavily you injured Guanzi. One woman stood out and cursed him right in front of his face. Long Chen, are you even a man? How could you be so cruel to a woman? To be so vicious to a woman? Are you even human? A male disciple also cried injustice. The Dragonblood warriors couldn't help being infuriated. They really were unreasonable. The four heavenly geniuses had teamed up against Long Chen, and these people hadn't said a thing in such an unfair situation. Now that Long Chen won, they actually began to curse him? Guo Ran was about to shout back and start a battle when he was stopped by Long Chen. Don't bother cursing back at them. It'll just lower your status. If cursing people had a use, the corrupt path would have been exterminated ages ago. Let them do as they please. Just remember, when you're infuriated, don't curse people. Now, you're all people with status, so don't start such a bad habit. Guo Ran was still displeased, but they're too hateful. That means they still aren't hateful enough. If they really were hateful, you'd have long since just directly killed them. Why would you waste words on them? So, when you can move your fists, don't move your mouth, laughed Long Chen. Hearing his words, quite a few disciples sucked in a cold breath of air. It was no wonder the Dragonblood warriors were so vicious. It had all been because of Long Chen's instructions. Who do you think you're trying to scare? You think we're scared? You think just having some ability makes you amazing? Is just one win enough to be so arrogant? You're just a bumpkin. APFFT. Blood splashed. A head flew into the sky. That woman defending Shu Guanzi was beheaded in a single blow. Bastard. You dare to kill people. The fifth super monastery's people were all enraged. They took out their weapons. About to charge forward. That woman was one of Shu Guanzi's worshippers. Seeing Shu Guanzi heavily injured. She had been enraged. At that time. She had suddenly received encouragement from a certain someone. And so she had immediately begun to curse Long Chen. The person who had encouraged her was Xu Yankong. He was more infuriated than anyone else here. Although he couldn't do anything to Long Chen, he didn't want him to be seen as a hero. Originally, he had just been thinking about humiliating him and making him lose face. He had never expected Long Chen to actually kill someone. He was delighted and he began to secretly encourage more people to charge over. He would use this opportunity to make Long Chen completely fall from grace. Brothers, prepare yourselves. As many that come, 
as many we'll kill. Long Chen coldly smiled. Chapter 748 Heavenly Water Pearl Translator Born to be the dragon blood warriors immediately raised their weapons. As long as these fools dared to charge over, they would be mercilessly slaughtered. They definitely wouldn't have mercy on anyone who dared to insult Long Chen. In that instant, terrifying killing intent soared out of the dragon blood warriors. Have you had enough? Suddenly, a calm voice rang out. The voice wasn't loud, but it caused their hearts to tremble. Vice sect master, it was Long Chen who broke the rules and mercilessly killed someone from the same sect. Please, get us justice, cried Xu Yankong. Xu Wuven calmly watched without saying anything, but ridicule and disappointment could be seen in her eyes. She hadn't thought that her family head was such a person. Normally, he acted so dignified, but now that he had lost, he was like a wild shrew, willing to do anything. Although she hadn't clearly seen him do anything with the first female disciple, the gazes he had cast to some other people after she had been killed had been caught by her. She couldn't help but wonder, had he gone senile? If even she had managed to catch his actions, then how was he thinking of hiding them from the Visect Master? It seemed Xu Yankong had already lost his calm, and begun acting stupid. Xu Yankong, where is this place? Asked the Visect Master. This place, is the trial region. Xu Yankong's expression immediately became ugly. Since it's the trial region, then monastery heads are unable to interfere in the struggle between disciples. Are you unable to even remember this simple rule? Even the sect master wouldn't dare to break this rule. Even if disciples want to slaughter each other, you can only advise them. Do you really think you can act as the sect master? Then I'd have to congratulate you on advancing a whole realm, said the vice sect master calmly. But the ridicule in his voice was not at all concealed. After saying that, he turned to the disciples with their raised weapons. In the trial region, disciples are permitted to exchange pointers without being held accountable. Please, continue. I'll cheer for you. The Visect Master actually took a few steps back, taking on the attitude of a spectator wanting to watch the fun. The disciples immediately became flabbergasted. They had only acted like this because of Xu Yankong's encouragement, as well as the fact that they had more people on their side. Furthermore, Zhang Wuyan's super monastery's people were also joining. Although Long Chen had won, they couldn't allow him to hog all the glory. But now the Visect Master said that disciples could kill each other here without punishment. Their faces immediately became green. The Dragon Blood Warriors weren't a group of people, but a pack of wolves. If they went over, then without the rules to protect them, would they be able to leave alive? Boss, this a good thing. Let's hurry up and kill these bastards, said Guo Ran, his eyes shining. Let it go. Bullying the weak won't make you a hero. If you have the energy, go kill corrupt experts. That's the best way to gain fame. Long Chen shook his head. He had long since seen through the essence of the righteous path's despicable methods. Their motto was that even if they couldn't beat you, they would wipe their snot on you. Nauseating you was a good reward too. That was too low grade, and he couldn't be bothered with it. What? You're not fighting anymore? Then let's hurry up and leave. In the Zhuanshan Dao sect, there will be rules against killing. But if there are any unresolvable enmities, you can go to the life and death stage. There are 380 life and death stages in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and you can go to them at any time. You can pick one with good Feng Shu, and choose a good day for yourself. Of course, the life and death stages aren't limited to just disciples. Even monastery heads can fight against each other. Recently, I've found that your passion has diminished as you fight amongst yourselves. It'd be better to learn from your disciples and fight with your fists, said the Visect Master. His gaze swept over everyone. Their hearts shook. The Visect Master was venting his rage. The ridicule in his voice could not be more obvious. Obviously, he was very clear as to what was going on. If he had used a furious voice, that would have actually been better. Now that he said these words with a calm voice, their significance was a bit different. The Visect Master was truly infuriated. Xu Yankong and the Wang family head's little actions hadn't been hidden from him. Normally, the two of them were at least a bit smarter and wouldn't make such mistakes. But today, the two of them had been infuriated by Long Chen and had used this kind of trash method to smear Long Chen's glory. Thus, the Visect Master was on the verge of going berserk. But as many years of training allowed him to control himself, he didn't explode. Instead, he spoke in such a calm voice. Don't you all like to fight? Rather than fighting amongst disciples, a fight between monastery head experts should be much more interesting. Plus, the death of a monastery head would be able to shake the entire eastern wasteland. 
Seeing everyone lower their heads and not responding, the Visect Master couldn't be bothered to continue. These people's heads had already been corroded. He wasn't a god, and he couldn't change them. He could only give them a proper warning and make them reserve themselves. Furthermore, if the monastery had really died, he would have a pile of work to do. He would need to report that to the higher-ups. After all, the deaths of monastery head-level experts all needed to be reported to the head sect that work was up to him, and he was busy enough. With a wave of his hand, spatial strength circulated. The light of the sun pierced their eyes as they appeared in the Zuanchen Plaza. There had been no sunlight in the trial region. Now, the warmth of the sun elevated their moods, making them feel more relaxed. The trials are over. I trust that you understand just how beneficial they were to you. The next thing is the most significant matter. The immemorial path is scheduled to open three months from now. However, this immemorial path has no relation to ordinary disciples. Only celestial level experts can enter. Hearing this, everyone was startled. Just what was the immemorial path? Only celestial level experts had the qualifications to enter? Regarding the immemorial path, I will give more information to your monastery heads later. So ask them for explanations. Long Chen, according to the rules, the final treasure of the Netherworld Heaven Staircase must be publicly revealed. One reason is for the report to the higher-ups, while the other is to encourage the other disciples, said the Visect Master. Encourage? Are you sure it's not to provoke them? Long Chen was speechless, but since the Visect Master had ordered him, he could only take out the case. When that case appeared, all the disciples immediately stopped breathing. As the trial's ultimate reward, this had to be a supreme treasure. Shu Guanzhi, Zhang Wuyan, Yu Kianshan, and Zhao Wuji were all conscious now. They were being supported by other disciples. Seeing that case, they let out helpless sighs. They had already done their best, but Long Chen had still taken the final reward. Was this fate? As for Shu Guanzhi, his eyes were scarlet. He could have accepted anyone else obtaining the final reward, but the fact that Long Chen had obtained it infuriated him. He had an urge to charge over and break it. The case opened. Long Chen was dumbfounded. Inside was another case. Opening the smaller case, Long Chen's expression sank. Inside was yet another case. His heart clenched. On the Netherworld Heaven staircase, he had obtained a pair of shabby boots, a belt, and an elegant blouse. If this reward was also trash, Long Chen didn't know whether or not he would die from rage. But that wasn't possible. This was not a problem of luck anymore. The reward had long since been determined. It couldn't be possible that the treasure would turn into trash the moment he picked it up, right? On the seventh case, Long Chen's expression became exceedingly ugly. Now, the case was only the size of a fist. Had they given him a quail egg? The case opened, revealing an egg-sized pearl. As soon as it appeared, space trembled. Endless mist surged out of it, and majestic water energy gave off a stifling pressure. Shu Guanzi's eyes almost popped out. Heavenly water pearl. The Visect Master couldn't help being emotional. That was a priceless treasure. It was a natural treasure for water cultivators. One that would be equivalent to an earth flame to alchemists. Shu Guanzi's heart pounded. This was the treasure that he needed. If he could refine it, he would be able to advance to become a rank 3 celestial. A rank 3 celestial was a supreme genius qualified to enter the central plains head Zuanshan Daosek Shu Yunkong's heart immediately clenched. He had to obtain it for Shu Guanzi. Long Chen, this heavenly water pearl is useless to you. We would be willing to exchange other priceless treasures for it, said Shu Yunkong. How is it useless? Do you think I'm stupid? The pearl contains endless water energy. Whether it's for taking a bath or washing my feet, it's extremely convenient. It's very useful. Long Chen coldly smiled. In truth, Long Chen was filled with rage. He had obtained a priceless treasure, but it was absolutely useless to him. In fact, it was useless to the entire Dragonblood Legion as there was no water attribute expert amongst them. You, you're going to use it to wash your feet, raged Shu Guanzi. It's mine, so I can do whatever I want with it. Even if I wanted to throw it away, it would have nothing to do with you. I definitely wouldn't let some despicable little person get an advantage like that, said Long Chen. Long Chen, if this pearl is useless to you, you can exchange it with the sect for other treasures free of charge. Reminded the Visect Master. Many thanks. This disciple understands. Long Chen actually had quite the favorable opinion about this impartial Visect Master. So he was extremely respectful to him. Now everyone had seen the treasure. Everything was over. Shu Wuhan brought everyone back to their camp. Watching as Long Chen left, 
Shu Guan's he was filled with rancor. He was going a bit crazy. This treasure that he urgently needed had actually been taken away by the worst possible person. Don't panic. We'll definitely obtain the heavenly water pearl. Let's go for now. Shu Yankong brought Shu Guan's he away. The others also left. The trials were over. But the atmosphere in the Zhuanshan Dao sect was growing more and more tense. Chapter 749 The Agreement Translator Born to be in a secluded cave in the rear mountains of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the vice sect master was respectfully facing a screen of light. Within the screen was a person, but their figure was extremely indistinct, and it was impossible to tell if they were a man or a woman. Oh, a demon class genius has appeared in our eastern wastelands branch sect. A voice came from the screen. The voice sounded extremely strange, and it even seemed similar to a spiritual fluctuation. Yes, sect master, this person's name is Long Chen. The vice sect master began to recount everything he knew about Long Chen. At the same time, he also activated a few photographic jades. Of course, no one had dared to activate photographic jades during the trial, as that was just courting death. A portion of their memories regarding the 999th stair had been erased. But Long Chen's triumph over the four heavenly geniuses hadn't. To draw trash three times is truly inconceivable. It is definitely unprecedented, said the figure on the screen. Furthermore, the final treasure was a heavenly water pearl. It's useless to Long Chen, and useless to any of the people by his side. His luck is heaven defying, so it makes me think of the legends. The vice master shut his mouth here. It's fine. I've already arranged a heaven deceiving grand formation here. You won't be noticed by the heavenly deos. You wish to say that he is a divergent. The strange voice was still completely calm without the slightest shock. Yes, the vice sect master nodded. There truly are a kind of inconceivably unlucky figures amongst divergents. It seems they are called heaven Caesars. They can't rely on luck to live, and have to rely entirely on gambling with their lives on the line to gain opportunities. Because they forcibly snatch those opportunities from the heavens. They are called heaven Caesars. But the legends say that these people are destined to be bloodthirsty devils who create mountains of corpses and seas of blood. Such figures can't have any friends or companions. Heaven Caesars are surrounded by hatred, and any people by their side will fall. They are the bane of other people's existence, and so they are all solitary figures, which causes them to be so vicious and leave no room for compromise. As for Long Chen, he is similar to them, but there are also aspects where he is the opposite of them. It is still too early to say that he is a heaven Caesar, said the strange voice. My meaning was, shouldn't we send Long Chen to the central plains? Leaving such a figure in our branch sect is a waste of talent. The central plains is the true playing field of geniuses, probed the vice sect master. You should be afraid of being implicated, correct? I, yes, said the vice sect master awkwardly. He was thinking about the Zhuanshan Dao sect if Long Chen was a heaven Caesar. Their branch sect would be completely overturned by him. Most likely, not even one of the four heavenly geniuses would survive. It would be better to send him to the head sect. There were countless geniuses there who could stand shoulder to shoulder with him. Furthermore, he would obtain the best grooming. That was the best place for Long Chen. Most importantly, this place would be safe. The four heavenly geniuses might have fought each other and been disharmonious before, but it had always been within a certain limit. However, Long Chen had only just arrived and they directly began a battle to the death. So the vice sect master was truly worried. Sigh. As people grow older, their guts shrink. The figure in the screen sighed. Please give me your wisdom, master. Hearing him say master, that voice's tone became slightly more gentle. To tell the truth, it was your master who let you down. Disciple doesn't deserve such words. Cried the vice sect master reverently. Let me finish. I've been focused on cultivating these past few years, so I left the Deo sect to you to handle. I didn't tell you many things, which has ended up holding back your cultivation. However, you really are foolish enough. Just because I didn't tell you about some things, can you not comprehend them yourself? The four families have fought against each other for countless years, but I never bothered to discipline them. When I handed the Deo sect to you, I also never said anything about them. Do you really not understand? The figure's voice was clearly a bit disappointed. Please forgive disciples' foolishness, said the vice sect master. Did you think that just because I left the sect to you to handle, that it truly was yours? That the rise and fall of the sect were predicated entirely on you? Do you think you're a god? When the Zhuanshan Dao sect is about to prosper, do you think you could stop it? When the Zhuanshan Dao sect is about to be destroyed, 
Do you think you could stop it? I, the Visect Master didn't know how to respond. You couldn't. Even I couldn't. Even the Patriarch wouldn't be able to pull against the tide. A large sect has its own destiny, and when that destiny is over, no one can stop its decline. Tell me, what are you so worried about? You are just a housekeeper. Just complete your necessary duties. Because of Long Chen, you are actually worried about the entire Dao sect. Why don't you just start worrying about the fate of the entire continent? Said the figure helplessly. The vice sect master was red, but he didn't say a word. If Long Chen isn't a heaven Caesar, then there's nothing for you to worry about. If he is a heaven Caesar, then there's even less for you to worry about. His life has been arranged by the heavens. It's already faded when the heavens will take his life away. Yes, disciple was foolish. Go. Everything will go according to fate. Don't interfere in such huge matters, because the gains won't make up for the losses. Let nature takes its course. Take the position of a spectator and you'll gain more, said the figure. The Visect Master shook slightly. That last sentence was clearly telling him that he had been too strongly attached, to the point that he had lost himself in a maze. If he could escape that maze, then his mental realm would immediately leap to a new level. Many thanks for Master's pointers. Go. After the Visect Master left the cave, the figure on the screen was silent for a moment before muttering, Long Chen? Heaven Caesar? Interesting. If I have a chance, I'll definitely test that little fellow. Long Chen rested a night, but he only recovered to 20%. His injuries were too heavy, and the four types of heavenly Dao energies were wreaking havoc in his body. Even with the primal chaos speed, he couldn't heal them quickly. His guess was that it wasn't that the primal chaos speed had lost its effect, but that the trees he had planted were just not strong enough and were no longer able to keep up with his requirements. He would need to find some new trees, or when he was injured in a fight he would no longer possess the ability to heal quickly. Furthermore, his physical body was growing more and more powerful, and healing pills had almost no effect on him. He would have to rely on the primal chaos bead. Girl, let's go. Accompany this old man for a walk. Long Chen saw Tang Wan'er waiting for him when he left his room. As for Tang Wan'er, she was delighted to see Long Chen had gotten out of bed. Oh, old man, your broken bones have only just healed. Are you sure you're ready for a walk? She teased. Of course, a person can become old, but that doesn't mean their heart has become old. An old cow eats young grass. Come little girl, give this old man a hug, laughed Long Chen as he went to wrap his arms around her waist. Tang Wan Er twisted slightly and avoided Long Chen's devil claws. She rebuked, you only just recovered, but you want to mess around. Hey, isn't it just a joke? If we were like an old married couple, it would be too boring, laughed Long Chen. He really liked how Tang Wan Er looked when she was angrily rebuking him. He considered that her most beautiful side. Who is an old married couple? Shameless. Tang Wan Er turned red. Although she had been with Long Chen for this long, such frank words still caused her to blush. Where's Men Ki? Long Chen changed the subject. She's in seclusion refining those spiritual crystals. It seems it will take a long time, said Tang Wan Er. In the Nine Netherworld Path. Long Chen had destroyed a terrifying soul with an unknown cultivation base. The spiritual crystals that the soul had exploded into were too terrifying, and Men Ki would need a long time to refine them. But that was also a good thing. Those spiritual crystals were made of pure soul energy, and since they had formed in the Nine Netherworld path, there wasn't the slightest downside to absorbing them. All right, but I really want you to accompany me for a stroll. I have some proper matters to handle, said Long Chen. Even you know how to do proper things, questioned Tang Wan Er. Long Chen was speechless. Fine, then we'll do some improper things right here. He pulled Tang Wan Er into his embrace and gave her a kiss. You scoundrel. Tang Wan Er struggled but found it was useless. Long Chen had originally been punishing her, but in the end, a fire lit within him. Long Chen, stop. Tang Wan Er suddenly felt that change. Why, do you not like me? Long Chen asked, disappointed. You, you scoundrel. If I didn't like you, do you think I'd let you get away with this much? I'd have long since crushed you, raged Tang Wan Er. She began to tear up. Long Chen was stunned. Hadn't he just asked a question? Why was she getting so emotional? It seemed he didn't realize just how sensitive a woman was to such a question. He had called her feelings into question. Cough. I was wrong. When a woman was crying, the first thing to do wasn't to ask why, but to apologize. This was what Long Chen's experience told him. You scoundrel, can't you act more natural? You're not even the slightest bit sincere, 
seeing Long Chen act like an obedient child. Even an idiot could tell that he was faking. Tang Wan'er beat Long Chen in her rage. Ah, stop. Tell me why we can't do this. Long Chen continued to hold Tang Wan'er. A certain desire had already built up within him. Wasn't it said that there weren't so many taboos upon reaching the Xi'anchen realm? They could do whatever they wanted. Tang Wan'er was red, clenching her robes. She quietly said, Sister Menki, Sister Chu Yao, and Sisters Hikyu, we all agreed that only once we all marry can you, can we, do that. What the fuck? Long Chen collapsed on the ground. He was to be surrounded by beauties, but unable to touch them? How would he pass his days? This is an expression for a romantic relationship in which the man is much older. Chapter 750 They still haven't given up translator. Born to be Long Chen. Hurry and get up. You're a grand hero. How can you be such a rascal? Seeing Long Chen rolling about senselessly, Tang Wan'er hastily pulled him up. How could you make such an agreement without telling me? You're too inhumane. Furthermore, Ye's Hikyu and I, we, Long Chen originally had been about to say that he and Ye's Hikyu hadn't reached that point, but then thinking of how Ye's Hikyu had sacrificed her life to save him, he knew just how deep her feelings for him were. Thus, he swallowed his words. In truth, he also very much liked Ye's Hikyu. Ye's Hikyu possessed a kind of sacred beauty that an ice goddess would possess. That kind of sacred beauty was one that would make a person ashamed of their own inferiority, but it would also give one a strong desire to conquer them. Long Chen he kept his adoration for her inside. He had thought that a girl like Ye's Hikyu would never form romantic feelings with anyone, because she was always so icy. No one could tell what she was thinking. In truth, we managed to sense that sisters Hikyu liked you back in the Jiuli secret realm. It's just that she doesn't like to reveal her emotions. However, a woman has her woman's intuition. That's more sensitive than any expert's perception. Back then, Sister Chu Yao proposed this agreement just to probe her, and as a result, she agreed, said Tang Wan'er. Long Chen felt a burst of emotion, thinking of that poignant, final smile of Ye's Hikyu's right before her death. Pain welled up within him. That previous desire of his vanished. Long Chen, don't be impatient. We. Oui. We will sooner or later be yours, comforted Tang Wan'er. But she was completely red when saying this. Wan'er, you really are beautiful, praised Long Chen. Even if you say that, it's useless. We sisters have already made our agreement, so don't bother. If you really want it so badly, then work hard at cultivating so that we sisters can unite again. At that time, your dreams will naturally come true, laughed Tang Wan'er. She clearly thought that Long Chen had his own goal for praising her and she wouldn't get duped. All right, that's also good. At that time, we can all be together. That really would be satisfying. There'll be you, Menki, Chu Yao, Zhikyu, and then Yu Long Chen hastily shut his mouth. You? You what? Tang Wan'er immediately grabbed Long Chen's throat. That gentle, bashful expression instantly changed, making her appear like a tigress. Cough, you're just too nervous. What I was saying was, I was wondering how many months until we can be together. Long Chen stealthily wiped away some sweat. He had almost called out Yu Ziaokian, and he didn't just think about Yu Ziaokian. For some unknown reason, he also thought of another name, Zi Yan. The impression that the zither playing fairy had left him was extremely deep. Let's hurry up. I want to exchange the heavenly water pearl for something useful to us. Hopefully we can get something good. Long Chen hastily changed the subject. He pulled Tang Wan'er outside. Hearing that Long Chen wanted to exchange the heavenly water pearl, Tang Wan'er's interest was piqued. She also wanted to see what treasures were on the same level as the heavenly water pearl in the Dao sect she even thought about calling over Men Qi, but she was stopped by Long Chen. Men Qi was in an important period. He told Tang Wan'er that there were just too many spiritual crystals in her spiritual space. The crystals had her mark on them, and they needed to be refined one by one, although there wouldn't be many gains in the short term the long-term effects would be worthwhile. Currently, Menki was exhausting a huge amount of spiritual strength just to seal them within herself. If she were to fight someone at this time, she would be at an immense disadvantage. Even in times of safety, it was best to be wary of danger. Tranquility didn't represent safety. There was no such thing as absolute safety in the cultivation world. So it was best not to delay her work. Long Chen asked to see the Visect Master. Only the Visect Master had the authority to access the treasures on the level of the Heavenly Water Pearl. When the Visect Master handed him the list of treasures, Long Chen was disappointed. There were only eight items on that list. 
four of them were weapons on the treasure item level. Seeing those, Tang Wan'er was stunned. Those were weapons for foundation forging experts. Since the heavenly water pearl could be exchanged for treasure items, it meant it was on the same level as them. It was just regretful that this treasure was useless to the Dragonblood Legion. Of the eight items, the ones that drew Long Chen's attention were a sword and a spear. If he could get one of them for Yu Zifan or Gu Yang, their power would increase to the point that they would be able to fight a rank 2 celestial. Bisect Master, can I choose not to exchange it? Probed Long Chen. Of course, the Heavenly Water Pearl is yours. The sect won't force you to do anything, said the Bisect Master. Then many thanks. Long Chen left with Tang Wan'er. He was a bit depressed. The Heavenly Water Pearl was a priceless treasure, but useless to him. As for the sword and spear, they would be a better fit for him in the Dragonblood Legion's Grove. However, he chose not to trade for it. That was because he knew that once he traded the Heavenly Water Pearl, it would end up in the Zuanshan Dao sect's treasury. Then, others would be able to exchange equivalent level treasures for it. The thing that Long Chen wanted to avoid the most was for the Heavenly Water Pearl to end up in the hands of Shu Guanzhi. The final move that Shu Guanzhi had used on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase had raised his guard. If Shu Guanzhi obtained the Heavenly Water Pearl, he would advance to become a Rank 3 Celestial and his combat ability would undergo a Heaven Toppling change. Long Chen definitely wouldn't do something so foolish. So without something suitable, he decided not to trade it. He would rather let it rot in his hands than for it to benefit Shu Guanzhi. Alright, don't be so depressed. Even if you didn't trade it, it's not like you lost anything. Think about how mighty you appeared when you defeated the four heavenly geniuses. Tang Wan'er tried to cheer Long Chen up upon seeing how depressed he was. To me, fame is useless. Only gold and beauties can draw my attention. Cough. Of course, I already have beauties. So I'm only lacking money. Long Chen's reactions were quick. Tang Wan'er withdrew the hand she had been about to pinch him with. Speaking of money, Guo Ran has spent quite a bit during this time. Zhen Wenlong seems ready to cry because of him. Laughed Tang Wan'er. That's fine. Zhen Wenlong isn't an outsider. We just have to remember this favor in our hearts. I already gave Guo Ran a batch of middle grade spirit stones when I returned. He told me he's about to finish his new armor. I also look forward to that little fellow's new invention. Long Chen smiled. He really had to admire Guo Ran's bold imagination. He had entered seclusion to study the weapon forging diagram. According to him, that tome was a treasure that he had desperately needed. With it, his forging arts were rapidly soaring. Wan'er, while they walked, Long Chen suddenly sent Tang Wan'er a spiritual message. Tang Wan'er was startled, not knowing why he would do such a thing. She replied, What is it? Keep acting normal. There are four assassins up ahead. They should be from the Blood Kill Hall. They still haven't given up. Those four are all celestials, but they're wearing ordinary disciple robes, and they've also changed their appearances. In a bit, pay attention to my eye signals. We can't let them run. Long Chen continued to chatter with Tang Wan'er while he used spiritual transmissions to tell her his plan. There are so many disciples here. How can you tell that they're assassins? Will we end up killing the wrong people? Tang Wan'er was a bit worried. Don't worry, I'm old friends with Blood Kill Hall's assassins. They can't hide their auras from me. Just continue to walk nonchalantly. Don't look at them, and don't start looking around, or you'll raise their guard. Killing people is different from fighting people. Let me teach you. Long Chen brought Tang Wan'er through the plaza. They immediately drew people's attention. Long Chen's fame had risen above the four heavenly geniuses now in the Zhuanshan Dao sect he was acclaimed as the strongest member of the Dao sect's junior generation. Greetings, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Quite a few disciples' gazes were worshipful. After all, this was an era where power was the most respected. Greetings. Long Chen smiled back at these fellow disciples. Suddenly, a female disciple ran over with a red face. She was carrying a handkerchief and a brush. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, can I have your autograph? Senior apprentice sister, please don't misunderstand. I just want an autograph, said the woman nervously. That's fine. Even if you said that you liked him. It would be fine. As long as you have the ability to seduce him, I wouldn't mind. Laughed Tang Wan'er. Long Chen's face immediately darkened. This girl was once more teasing him. He took the handkerchief and signed his name. His bold and powerful strokes were truly majestic. They were both domineering and grand. Thank you, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. That woman was incredibly happy. And after saying thanks, she disappeared into the crowd. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. 
I also want an autograph. Suddenly, another woman ran over, also holding a handkerchief. Long Chen was just about to take it when Tang Wan'er icily said, Absolutely not. Why not? Asked that woman, disappointed. HMPH. If I say no, then it's a no. Why do I have to give you a reason? Said Tang Wan'er icily. Don't be so petty. She just wants an autograph. Long Chen smiled. HMPH. Don't think that I don't understand you. I know the thing you like the most is women with big chests. As soon as she ran over, you went to greet her. You're clearly intentionally trying to take advantage of her. You think I can't tell? Tang Wan raged. Everyone was stunned, and they looked at Long Chen oddly. It was unexpected that this number one expert actually had such an interest. Then, looking at that woman's chest, as expected, it was truly a pair of immense mountains, boundless and grand. That woman looked at her own chest and couldn't help being disappointed. What are you talking about? Am I such a person? How can you not give me face? Raged Long Chen. You dare to shout at me. Raged Tang Wan'er. She grabbed Long Chen's neck in front of everyone's stunned gazes. Would they really fight here in public? Suddenly, four sharp wind blades silently flew out, piercing four necks. That included the woman with the incomparable chest. Everyone let out startled cries. You can mean month. Chapter 751 Instantly Killed Translator Born to be four heads flew into the sky. The people around them were all shocked. Quite a few people didn't react fast enough and blood splashed on their bodies. Nice. Long Chen and Tang Wan'er clapped hands. This time, everything really had gone perfectly. Previously, Long Chen had already pointed out the four assassins to Tang Wan'er. Then Tang Wan'er had put on a play. That play had turned into a tragedy for the four of them. They had been beheaded without even understanding what had happened. Buzz. Suddenly, countless heavenly Dao runes appeared. Those flying heads were pulled back toward their bodies. Don't waste the effort. Goodbye. Long Chen smiled slightly. Blood drinker appeared in his hand, and he slashed it down. Those heavenly Dao runes were blown to smithereens. There was no time for them to activate the heavenly Dao recovery. At this time, everyone finally reacted. These four had clearly been wearing ordinary disciple robes. How had they suddenly become celestials? Celestials had their own robes to differentiate them. Long Chen picked up one of their heads and lightly said, Your blood kill hall really doesn't know how to give up. Long Chen, you destroyed our killing god statue. A blasphemy. Get ready to be chased down to the ends of the world by the blood kill hall. Repent with your endless terror. Ha 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 although the only remaining part of them was their heads. As celestials, they didn't immediately die. Only after saying these final words did that person's soul completely dissipate. TCH. Even in death, they want to frighten me. But my guts aren't so small. Long Chen disdainfully tossed the head aside. Just who were they trying to frighten? Hearing that they came from the blood kill hall, the surrounding disciples' expressions completely changed. Looking at the four corpses, they felt a chill. Four celestials. Those were the blood kill hall's violet gold rank assassins. They had actually sent four violet gold rank assassins. That was too frightening. As for Long Chen, he was even more frightening. These four assassins hadn't even had a chance to attack before being killed. Just who was the real assassin? Everyone looked at Long Chen with horror. There's no need to look at me. If others tried to assassinate you so many times, you'd also be the same as me. Laughed Long Chen. Everyone was speechless. The same as him? If they were targeted by a violet gold rank assassin. It was unknown how many times they would die. They weren't monsters like him. Oh, that person was a man. Suddenly, one disciple realized that the woman's face had transformed to become a man's after dying. It was actually an extremely manly man with a beard. Thinking of how he had acted like a coquettish woman before, their hair stood on end. What happened? A group of law enforcers charged over. Seeing these corpses, their expressions completely changed. Thinking that disciples had killed each other here. It's nothing big. Four of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins managed to sneak in, explained Long Chen. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins, the law enforcer's expressions became exceedingly ugly. Don't worry, this matter has nothing to do with you. If this level of assassin wants to sneak in, then our defenses exist in name only. The Vice Sect Master won't punish you. However, I'll have to trouble senior apprentice brothers to clean up these corpses and report this matter. Long Chen knew they were worried about the responsibility. After all, they were in charge of this place's security. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We'll clean up these corpses right away. In truth, these law enforcers were much older than Long Chen, but they didn't dare to act as the seniors. 
Long Chen brought Tang Wan'er away. Seeing there was no one around, she laughed. Long Chen, how was my act? Long Chen was speechless. He disdainfully said, Why didn't you act according to the script? I didn't even know how to respond. Furthermore, when did I ever say I like big chests? HMPH, don't bother. Although you like to fake being a proper person, Sister Menki has already told me the truth. Each time a big chested woman appears, there's a clear change in your spiritual fluctuations. Although you might be able to hide it from me, you can't hide it in front of a soul expert like Sister Menki. You might not look with your eyes, but your spiritual strength was stealthily sizing them up. Sister Menki was simply giving you face by not bringing it up. Now it was Tang Wan'er's turn to look disdainfully at Long Chen. Long Chen had never imagined his stealthy actions had long since been noticed by Men Qi. Despite how thick his face was, he felt a burning sensation on his cheeks. Ah, Wan'er, you also know, as a man, a man should be energetic and eager to study, eager to gain experience. That is what drives humanity to progress explained Long Chen. Say what you want to say more directly. Stop speaking in such a roundabout manner. Tang Wan'er wanted to get right to the point. Ah, well, what I wanted to know was the exact difference between a man and a woman's chest. That is very important to my future cultivation. Wan'er, can you help me? Long Chen looked at Tang Wan'er's chest with great longing. Bastard, you absolute scoundrel, raged Tang Wan'er. She raised her fists, aiming to beat him. But Long Chen laughed and dodged. Don't be so petty. Just touching won't cause you to lose any mass. Furthermore, weren't we just discussing the possibility? If your answer is no, then that's fine. How can you become hostile so quickly? Long Chen was chased all the way back to their camp by Tang Wan'er. However, at least that relieved the awkwardness of him being seen through by Men Qi. In the future, he would have to be more careful. He would have to see if they were around before looking. In truth, even Long Chen didn't know why he liked women with big chests. But whether it was Men Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, or even Yu Ziyokian, their movements would all cause huge waves. As for Zi Yan, she had always worn her special dress, making it so that Long Chen couldn't clearly see her figure. And then as for Song Wuyan, he had gotten a bad impression of her as soon as he had seen her. Cough, who had asked her to have a chest flat enough for a horse to gallop across it? At this time, Long Chen had almost confirmed a certain theory. Women with big chests were nicer. For example, the Xia Beichi he had met in the Phoenix Cry Empire, or the Yun family's Yun Wushuang, Zhao Qingyu, Zhao Xianai, etc. They were sharp and unkind, and their other shared trait was their flat chests. So Long Chen had come up with his theory. If their chest was flat, their heart was also flat. If their chest was bursting, then their heart was also bursting. Although this principle was not necessarily applicable to everyone, Long Chen's experience told him that this was how it was. This theory definitely wouldn't trick him. Women with big chests were often nicer, but sometimes they didn't use their heads enough. Women with flatter chests were more rational, making them shrewd and like to scheme to control everything Noveloon.com of course. There were no absolute rights and wrongs, but there was one incontestable fact that made Long Chen like big chests. That was that, at the very least, they felt good. But this didn't mean that he would like every woman with a big chest. For example, Yao Nikians could no longer be just described as big, it would be at least described as huge, and once it had surpassed the limits that Long Chen could grasp, he didn't like it so much. Boss, Long Chen had just returned to his camp when Gu Yang came to greet him. You should go see Yu Zifeng. That little fellow seems to be stuck on something. Ah, the monastery head came looking for you. It seems that the Shu family's head is waiting to see you. You should go see the monastery head and then go see Yu Zifeng. What would I see Shu Yankong first for? He looks just like a zombie that crawled out of its grave. I'll go see Yu Zifeng first. Seeing that Long Chen had real matters to attend to, Tang Wan'er obediently returned to her own room. At the very least, in front of the Dragonblood warriors, she had to give Long Chen some space. That was what Men Qi had taught her. All men needed face. When he arrived at Yu Zifeng's room, Yu Zifeng hastily poured a cup of tea for him. Long Chen drank a mouthful. After his argument with Tang Wan'er, his throat was a bit sore. What, have you been influenced by that idiot Yu Kianshan? Asked Long Chen lightly. Boss, how did you know? Asked Yu Zifeng. TCH, as a sword cultivator, your Dao heart must be firm. But your gaze is clearly adrift now, and even your spiritual fluctuations are no longer steady. Even that spiritual idiot Gu Yang managed to sense it. 
You must think that I am an idiot, said Long Chen. I really was affected by him. I'm also thinking of how to merge Heavenly Dao runes into my sword Dao. But after trying countless times, I'm still unable to do it, said Yu Zifan bitterly. It's only been a short time, so it's natural that you are unable to do so. If you had, then you would be crippled for the rest of your life. Long Chen once more drank a mouthful of tea. Yu Zifeng's expression changed. He didn't understand why Long Chen would say such a thing. Let me tell you, that idiot Yu Kianchen has already tread upon a path of no return. His sword cultivator path has already reached an end. Although he has merged his heavenly Dao runes into his sword Dao, making it appear mighty. In truth, that is purely stupid. You were actually influenced by such an idiot. I really am speechless. Long Chen shook his head. Boss, listen to me. There are countless cultivation paths. Whether you choose a major Dao or a minor Dao, as long as you can reach the peak, it is a correct path. You two are both sword cultivators. And so the sword Dao is the correct path for you. Once you merge heavenly Dao runes into the sword Dao, will you be cultivating the heavenly Dao or the sword Dao? Why did Yu Kianchen merge his heavenly Dao runes into his sword Dao? It's because he wasn't confident enough in his sword Dao. What is a sword to a sword cultivator? It is not a weapon, nor is it something to depend on. It is your faith. You have to have faith in it. When you have confidence in it, it can bring forth miracles for you. If you believe it can cut apart the river of stars, then it will be able to. If you believe it can destroy a world, it will be able to. But this is predicated upon whether or not you truly believe in it. So, the fact that you haven't merged your heavenly Dao runes into your sword Dao is lucky for you. If you had really done so, you would never be able to reach the peak of your Dao, said Long Chen solemnly. Yu Zifeng turned pale. He had almost committed an irredeemable mistake. His back was covered in sweat, but he had also gained more confidence in his sword Dao now. I understand, he said gratefully. Good. Remember, faith is more important than you think. Countless miracles stem from faith. All right, I'll leave now. In truth, Yu Zifeng had simply been impacted by how powerful Yu Kianchen's attacks were. But with Long Chen's explanation, he immediately understood the truth. Long Chen went to Xu Wuhan's room. He wanted to see just what plot Xu Yankong was brewing now. Chapter 752 World Piercing Jade Talisman Translator Born to be Long Chen Come, sit. Xu Wuhan smiled and pointed toward a prayer mat. There were three prayer mats in the room. Xu Wuhan was sitting on one. Xu Yankong was sitting on another. And the last one was for Long Chen. According to normal rules, as a disciple, Long Chen didn't have the qualifications to sit here, but Xu Wuhan had never treated Long Chen as a disciple. Well, the main point was that Long Chen had never treated Xu Wuhan as a monastery head. They were already used to having no seniority between them. Long Chen immediately sat, without even looking at Xu Yunkong. He asked Xu Wuhan, Monastery head, you wanted to see me. It wasn't Wuhan who wanted to see you, but me. Xu Yunkong was a bit irritated. Oh, isn't this the Xu family head? Didn't the Visect Master say you were to face a wall and ponder your misdeeds? You've already transcended. Long Chen intentionally used transcended in a way that sounded like he was saying he had died. Xu Yankong was infuriated when this topic was brought up, but he indifferently said, I came to find you to discuss something. I have nothing to say to you. Long Chen shook his head. You, you're not even going to listen to what I have to say, raged Xu Yankong. Seeing this wily old fox being incomparably infuriated just from a few words from Long Chen, Xu Wuhan couldn't help laughing inside. As she had thought, evil people were best handled by evil people. Xu Wuhan had countless grievances with this family head of hers. When Xu Yankong had asked to see Long Chen, she had actually thought of refusing. But then she also wanted to see what drugs he was on to want to see Long Chen now. There had been one thing she had been sure of. There would definitely be a good show to watch when the two met. And as expected, Long Chen had only opened his mouth three times, and Xu Yankong was on the verge of exploding. What is there to listen to? You want the heavenly water pearl. What else is there to discuss? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Xu Yankong took a deep breath and suppressed his rage. He told himself he had to endure. He had to endure Novaloon.com I brought something that you urgently need. When it comes to value, it is definitely above the heavenly water pearl. Said Xu Yankong. Then you should keep it. What does it have to do with me? With your miserly character, would you really do something that would cause you to lose out? Even a ghost wouldn't believe your story. Long Chen rudely interrupted him. Seeing Xu Yankong's enraged expression, 
Shu Wuhan couldn't hold back a chuckle. She rebuked. Long Chen, properly discussed this. Although she was chiding him, her shoulders were trembling from the effort of holding back her laughter. Shu Yankong might be the Shu family head and was used to verbal sparring with others, but Long Chen never acted according to standards. His mouth would say anything, and Shu Yankong had never encountered such a person. That was because there had never been a person who had dared to speak to him like that, so he had no experience. All right, to give face to my monastery head, I will speak frankly. Bring out whatever you have and let's see if it's satisfactory or not, said Long Chen. Long Chen also wanted to see just what he had brought. He clearly knew that Long Chen didn't want to trade, but he had still come. He must have some confidence, or he wouldn't have just come to embarrass himself. Xu Yankong didn't say any more and took out an elegant case. Opening the case, he revealed a jade talisman. The jade talisman was the size of a fist. Lai could be seen dancing within it, and a majestic spatial strength slowly filled the room. World-piercing jade talisman. Although she had known that Xu Yankong must have brought something amazing, Xu Wuhan couldn't help but let out a startled cry. A slightly pained and unwilling expression appeared on Xu Yankong's face. Yes, this is something that was passed down from ancient times. That mark on it is an immortal character, spirit. In other words, this is a world-piercing jade talisman that connects to the spirit world. It is able to break through the barrier between worlds, and allows you to travel back and forth. The spirit world. Long Chen was extremely startled. Wasn't that where the forest divinity had come from? You know about the spirit world. Now it was Xu Yankong's turn to be startled. I've heard of it. How is this world piercing jade talisman used? Asked Long Chen. You can activate it at any place you please. It will allow you to break through space to enter the spirit world. But within a month, you must rely on the talisman to return. You have to activate the talisman at the same spot as where you arrived in the spirit world. If you miss that one month's time limit, you'll never be able to return, said Shu Wuhan. Yes, that is correct. You should know that the spirit world is filled with countless ancient magical beasts. Those magical beasts mostly possess pure bloodlines that give them limitless potential and great power. That Menki has vast spiritual strength, but she doesn't even have one good magical beast. For a soul cultivator like that to enter the immemorial path would be extremely dangerous. You should be very clear on that said Xu Yankong. Xu Wuhan's expression changed slightly. Old foxes really were old foxes. He knew that Long Chen was someone who cared deeply about his relationships. He would be willing to do anything for the people beside him. That was especially true of Men Qi. By using her safety to entice Long Chen, it could be said he had truly struck Long Chen's vulnerability. Family head, you really were willing to put in the capital for Xu Guanzhi. It seems our Xu family's Nine Yang battle halberd has been tossed away by you, said Xu Wuhan. That Nine Yang battle halberd was a rare treasure item. It contained a fierce Yang energy inside and was extremely precious. It was the Xu family's most valuable treasure. It was something every expert in the Xu family knew about. For Xu Yankong to suddenly have a world-piercing jade talisman out of nowhere, it was clear he had traded the Nine Yang battle halberd. Long Chen wouldn't agree to trade for the Nine Yang battle halberd. But this world-piercing jade talisman was something that would definitely entice him. He wouldn't let Men Qi face danger. Xu Wuhan was saying this to make sure Long Chen was careful. He had to be clear about everything. Because once Xu Guanzi obtained the Heavenly Water Pearl, the chance of him becoming a Rank 3 Celestial was extremely high. And for the Xu family, they definitely wouldn't make an investment for money. If Xu Guanzi advanced to become a Rank 3 Celestial, then once they entered the Immemorial Path, the first person he would kill was definitely Long Chen. That really is enticing. Then let me ask, how many people can use this world-piercing jade talisman? Asked Long Chen. Two. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. If only two people could use it, then he couldn't bring Tang Wan'er and find her a good houseput too. Currently, their houseputs could only be used as mounts. They weren't strong enough to fight alongside them anymore. Long Chen truly was moved, because on the border of the Phoenix Cry Empire, in a nameless village, he had seen the forest divinity break through the void to return to the spirit world. And from that spatial channel, he had seen a shocking scene. There were huge, ancient trees, birds as large as mountains, and countless precious beasts. There would definitely be powerful magical beasts to capture there. First, Menki needed a powerful magical beast to protect herself. Otherwise, he really would worry a great deal for her. Although her soul energy was powerful. 
figures as important as celestials would all be given soul items to protect themselves if their own spiritual strength wasn't strong enough. Second, Long Chen also needed to go to the spirit world to find some trees that could hold more life energy to replace his current trees. Otherwise, he would be suppressed when fighting against celestials in the future. Third, he wanted to see if he could find some clues about the forest divinity. Last time, the divine life drops it had given Long Chen had saved him and the people by his side several times. That debt was enormous, and he had to find some way to return it. This thing's not bad, but it seems like I would be at an immense disadvantage if I accepted. Long Chen shook his head. Oh, why do you say that? Asked Xu Yankong lightly. As a wily old fox, he knew he had found Long Chen's weak point. He knew Long Chen definitely wanted to trade, but he was just trying to haggle and increase the price. He had seen such a thing many times now. So, he was very calm. He felt that the initiative was now in his hands. He wasn't worried about Long Chen not trading. Long Chen smiled slightly at Xu Yunkong. I know what you're thinking. I can't help worrying about your intelligence. Oh? I'd like to hear more about that. Xu Yunkong merely smiled slightly. He had long since been prepared for this. I really do want this, but there are a few key points. First, have you ever gone to the spirit world? Asked Long Chen. No, but don't bother telling me there are records. If just theories were useful, what would be the point of practice? You haven't gone to the spirit world. So how do you know I won't just be immediately killed by a rank 7 or even rank 8 magical beast as soon as I enter? Asked Long Chen. This second, even if I can get there safely. The legends say that the forest there is so huge that it swallows the sky, and that huge beasts roam the land. Won't we find it difficult to take a single step in any direction? Continued Long Chen. Xu Yankong was speechless. Long Chen's words were reasonable, and he couldn't retort. He was about to say some theoretical words when Long Chen opened his mouth again. Third, even if there aren't any magical beasts blocking our path and everything goes smoothly. Do you think a powerful magical beast will allow itself to be captured by us as easily as a pig? In just a month's time, we have to look for and capture powerful magical beasts, and then also return to our original location. Just how high do you think our chances are? If we aren't able to capture any powerful magical beast, it would be better for us to just capture a few weaker magical beasts in this world. Then, I won't have to waste this heavenly water pearl. So, respected family head, tell me. With your wisdom, just how big do you think my heart would have to be to agree to your proposal? Asked Long Chen. Xu Yankong was immediately speechless. According to Long Chen's analysis, it truly seemed like he was the only one losing out. But the spirit world is filled with countless treasures and unlimited opportunities. If your luck is good quibbled Xu Yankong. Don't you think talking to me about luck is a provocation? Long Chen pointed to the belt he was still wearing on his waist. Xu Yankong immediately thought of Long Chen's heaven-defying luck. His heart sank, but he maintained a calm expression. Then let me hear your suggestion. My suggestion is very simple. I will exchange with you, said Long Chen, causing Xu Yankong to be delighted. But, you have to pay me an additional 3 million middle-grade spirit stones. Xu Yankong's smile disappeared. Chapter 753 Leaving for the Spirit World Translator Born to be when Xu Yankong left with his gloomy expression. Long Chen suddenly laughed. I'm rich. I'm rich. Long Chen had originally been planning on trading. The only reason he had brought up so many shortcomings was to con Xu Yunkong out of more money. Guo Ran had said that he never had enough money for his use. You're both a pair of old foxes. Sighed Xu Wuhan helplessly. Previously, she had really thought Long Chen had been unwilling to trade. But now she realized that even she had been tricked by his act. He, that old fox isn't anything good. This heavenly water pearl is something Xu Guan's he had to have, but I also needed that world-piercing jade talisman. I've heard that the immemorial path is a place where the eastern wasteland's peak experts will gather. It really will be very dangerous for Men Qi, said Long Chen. Xu Wuhan nodded. The danger of the immemorial path far surpasses that Jiuli secret realm you entered previously. That secret realm is merely a speck of dust left behind by the destruction of a world from the ancient era but the immemorial path is a true minor world. There is a whole new set of laws there. It is rumored that the immemorial path possesses the foundation for a cultivator to become an immortal or god. Of course, the immemorial path has long since crumbled. It is a severe path that no one can reconnect. So no more gods or immortals ever appeared in the martial heaven continent. However, the immemorial path is its own world. So you have to be careful. 
Not only do you have to be careful of the righteous and corrupt experts, but you have to be careful of experts from other races. Other races? Asked Long Chen. Xu Wuhan solemnly said. Yes, the eastern wasteland might be a desolate place, but there are still countless sects and hundreds of races. Some of those races are even stronger than our Zhuangshan Dao sect. Really? They're even stronger than the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Long Chen was shocked. Yes, more precisely, they're stronger than our Eastern Wasteland's branch sect. Our branch sect's power is a drop in the ocean compared to the head sect in the Central Plains. As for those races, there are some who have inherited bloodlines from the Immortal Era. They rarely interact with the rest of the world. In order to keep the purity of their bloodline, they never marry outside of their race. There are many races, and it's very easy to recognize them. If you can avoid it, don't provoke them. Their clans are very protective, in addition to being domineering and unreasonable. Warned Shu Wuhan. As long as they don't provoke me, I naturally won't be so bored as to provoke them. But if they try to bully me, well, you know my temperament. If it's bearable then I'll bear it. But if it's not, then there's no way around it, said Long Chen. Long Chen never considered himself to be someone who provoked others. But when others provoked him, he definitely wouldn't retreat. The cultivation path was one where if you compromised, your enemies would continue to force you back. If you wanted dignity, then you had to reveal your fangs to show others that you weren't prey. Those races possess ancient bloodlines, and they inherit special abilities. You have to be careful about them. However, it's not the righteous path, the corrupt path, or those races that are the most terrifying. The most terrifying ones are the aboriginals of the immortal path. Terror flashed across Shu Wuhan's eyes. There are people still living there. Long Chen was stunned. Yes, that place is a world that exists beside our world. It is said that those people are the earliest protectors of the immemorial path. But later, for some unknown reason, the immemorial path was destroyed and it became ownerless, becoming a separate entity from the martial heaven continent. The immemorial path is said to be the foundation to becoming an immortal or god. So countless cultivators wish to explore those mysteries inside. Every thousand years, experts will forcibly open the immemorial path and send their disciples in as a trial. Due to its destruction, the immemorial path was turned into quite a few separate sections. The eastern wasteland has an opening to one of those sections. Be careful, because when I entered the immemorial path, I was in a group of seven people, and we ended up running into an ambush from the aboriginals. As a result, I was the only one to escape with my life. The aboriginals treat the disciples undergoing the trial as invaders, as enemies. At the same time, they are also viewed as prey, and so they will slaughter you the second they see you. Shu Wuhan fell back into her memories of back then. That had truly been a desperate struggle. Those aboriginals were too vicious. It seems that Shu Yankong's world-piercing jade talisman actually came at a perfect time. If I couldn't find some powerful magical beasts, I feel like Menki shouldn't take on this danger, said Long Chen. A beast tamer without powerful magical beasts was too weak. Other than those threats, the immemorial path itself is filled with dangers. You absolutely can't be careless, warned Shu Wuhan. Big sister, don't worry, I'm not the kind of person who would play with my life, laughed Long Chen. Leaving Shu Wuhan's residence, he returned to his own room. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for there to be a guest waiting for him. That guest was currently chatting with Tang Wanur, Sister Biluo. Oh. Didn't you call me wife back then? Do you refuse to own up to the truth? Laughed Hua Biluo. No, you definitely can't joke around like this. It might be fatal. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. In front of an easily jealous girl like Tang Wanur. How could she make such a joke? He wouldn't be able to endure the cost to his life expectancy. Just look at your foolish expression. Do you think she would be so unreasonable? Sister Biluo has already explained what happened between you two to me. For you to be this nervous, does that mean you have a guilty conscience? Tang Wanner rolled her eyes. Oh, Tang Wanner actually understood what had happened without getting jealous? How rare. Long Chen smiled toward Hua Biluo. How are things with your family? Hua Jinrong is dead. I personally killed her. As a result, I become the future inheritor of the family. I came here to find you and pull you into my Hua family, said Hua Biluo. Long Chen was startled, but then seeing the slight curl at the corner of her mouth. He realized she was joking. Then what about the immemorial path? Yes, that's what I came to talk to you about. I won't be participating in the immemorial path. I've also given up on the struggle of the martial path, said Hua Biluo. Why is that? Both Long Chen and Tang Wanner were startled. 
Because I'm tired. After what happened this time, I found that I am just a leaf floating on an angry sea. That's what the cultivation path is. Nothing is within my control. But if I withdraw from the martial path and just calmly focus on being a family head, I'll be able to live a relaxed life. I'm a celestial, and once I reach sea expansion, then with my family's treasure item maintaining our karmic luck, I can live a carefree life. Hua Biluo smiled a content smile, but Long Chen and Tang Wan'er couldn't help feeling a bit disappointed. It seemed they had lost a companion. Then I'll have to congratulate you. From now on, you'll be free, said Long Chen with a smile. There's no way around it. Compared to you two, I'm lacking talent, as well as a certain confidence. And the thing I'm most lacking in is luck. Wan'er has it good, and Men Ki also has it good. They're both your women, but you've only ever treated me as a friend, said Hua Biluo with a bit of disappointment. Cough, isn't as good being friends, said Long Chen awkwardly. All right, let's not talk about that. I just came here to tell you this so you won't worry about me when the immemorial path opens. Other than that, remember to go see the wife you snatched away when you have time. Perhaps you could leave something behind for me? You understand, said Hua Biluo. Although she did her best to act natural, her face reddened slightly. After sending off Hua Biluo, Long Chen couldn't help feeling uneasy inside. A genius that had been incredibly grand back in the Jiuli secret realm had now turned out like this. Her sharpness and arrogance had been ground away by the merciless passing of time. She had lost a martial artist's ambitious heart. Are you thinking about when to go see that sister and leaving something behind inside her? Said Tang Wan'er extremely frankly. Long Chen was speechless. This girl was becoming more and more corrupt under his influence. How could she say something so directly? He, what kind of joke is that? Do you think I'm stupid? Tang Wan'er laughed and wrapped her arm around Long Chen's arm. I'm just teasing you. Don't you like beautiful women? Sister Biluo is very beautiful. And Tang Wan'er gestured at her chest with her hands, meaning that Hua Biluo was also a woman with a grand chest. In truth, I've always felt that liking someone is completely dependent on the feeling they give me. I don't have that kind of feeling toward her, nor would I feel an impulse to risk my life for her. So you can be sure that I don't like her. Long Chen shook his head, putting it like that made Tang Wan'er smile. All right. Since you've put it that way, I'll allow you to go find Sister Biluo when you absolutely can't hold back anymore. Long Chen raged. You foolish girl. Without feelings as a foundation, wouldn't it be no different than beasts mating? Since you like it when I leave behind things, how about I leave something behind for you right now? No. The next day, Xu Yankong returned with three million middle grade spirit stones and the world piercing jade talisman. Only then did Long Chen hand over the heavenly water pearl. After the exchange, both sides smiled sinisterly. After obtaining the world-piercing jade talisman, Long Chen called Men Qi out of seclusion. Men Qi had completely placed her mark on all the spiritual crystals, and it was no longer taxing for her to keep them in her spiritual space. She could easily refine them over time, and it wouldn't affect her combat ability. Once he arranged a few things with Shu Wuhan, he brought Men Qi out of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Men Qi summoned her Violet Phoenix Sparrow, and they rushed into the distance. Chapter 754 Azure Scale Horned Eagle Translator Born to be Long Chen, we've already been flying for three days. Why do we have to go so far? Men Qi couldn't help but ask him in the end. Of course it's for safety. Once the world piercing jade talisman is activated, we'll be in the spirit world for a month. When we return, we'll return to our original location. So it's best for us to get further away from the Zhuanshan Dao sect however. This distance should be enough. Let's find a good place. Oh, that mountain valley's not bad. Long Chen suddenly noticed a huge mountain valley. The craggy terrain was filled with boulders and extremely large. It was a good place. Descending onto the ground, Men Qi frowned. Isn't this place too eye-catching? He, if no one followed us, then considering how desolate this place is, whether or not it's eye-catching is fine. But if there are people following us, then they have plenty of ways to find us. Even if we find a hidden place, they would still find it. Long Chen smiled. You mean, pretty much, that old ghost Xu Yankong definitely hates me to the bone. I'm 90% sure he's plotting something, said Long Chen. Ah, then what should we do? It's fine. If he wants to play a game of wits, I'll play with him to his death. Just wait a moment while I set things up. Long Chen got to work. On the peak of four surrounding mountains, he set up a few things. Men Qi didn't know what those things were, but she knew Long Chen's head was full of the strangest thoughts. 
After setting those up, he took out a certain thing. It was the size of a chessboard and covered in lines. A formation disc, asked Menki. Yes, a formation disc I got the monastery head to shamelessly borrow it from the bisect master. Long Chen smiled. That smile was a bit wretched, or perhaps extremely wretched. Long Chen, you are, he, it's nothing. It's just in case of a certain possibility. We can't carelessly let others scheme against us. Long Chen carefully buried the formation disc deep underground and then erased any marks of what he had done. Everything looked extremely normal. He then took out 16 rocks that emitted fierce fluctuations. He buried them in a circle several miles wide around the formation disc once he buried the final rock. Those powerful fluctuations immediately vanished. Even with spiritual strength, it was impossible to sense them. All right, everything's set up. Hopefully it'll be useful. Long Chen patted his hands. Let's activate the world-piercing jade talisman. The talisman appeared in his hand. Using his spiritual strength, he activated it. The jade's runes lit up, and a powerful spatial strength erupted. A translucent portal appeared in front of Long Chen. It was like a vortex, and it was impossible to see what was on the other side. Men Qi, hold on to me. Men Qi was a bit nervous. She held tightly onto Long Chen, while Long Chen wrapped an arm around her waist. Taking a deep breath, he charged through that portal. When the two of them entered the portal, they instantly disappeared. The portal also slowly disappeared. Everything returned to calm. The next day, three figures appeared here. One of them was holding a flashing device. Yes, he activated the world-piercing jade talisman here. He, Long Chen, you're definitely dead now. After saying that, that person left behind a mark on the ground. Then the three of them left. They didn't realize that on some distant mountain peaks, four photographic jades were recording them. Long Chen didn't feel any powerful spatial tearing force. As soon as he stepped through the portal, he found himself in a huge forest. Before he could carefully size up his surroundings, his heart shook and he hastily dodged to the side with Men Qi. Bang! A huge flower viciously bit down where they had just been. That flower's petals actually had sinister thorns on them. A green liquid came out of the thorns. While Long Chen was dodging, countless vines suddenly shot out like poisonous vipers at him. They were incredibly quick and numerous. It was impossible to dodge them all. Long Chen snorted and a flame blade turned all those vines to ash. The vines seemed to have been frightened, and in front of Long Chen's dumbfounded gaze, they vanished underground. Then looking back at the flower, he found that it had disappeared as well. This place was incredibly strange. He felt a chill. Long Chen, didn't you say that the spirit world is peaceful? That the experts here are all easygoing? But this is. Men Qi was shocked. This fierce vegetation didn't seem very easygoing. I, I don't know. I previously encountered an expert from the spirit world, and she really was easy to get along with. Long Chen was looking around with a bewildered expression. The trees here were huge, and the spiritual key was incredibly condensed. It was the same as the scene he remembered from when the spirit world expert had left. The difference was that the world that expert had gone to had been full of peace and tranquility. While this place was strange and dark, it gave him a feeling that killers were everywhere, making his nerves taut. It really is strange. Is this not the spirit world? It couldn't be that Xu Yankong tricked me, wondered Long Chen. Suddenly, a mosquito flew by Long Chen, and a golden petal killed it. That was Men Qi's soul item. That mosquito had been the size of a chicken egg. Once it was cut in two, its mouthpiece continued forward, piercing a large tree as if it were steel. The spot where the tree was pierced immediately began to corrode. Long Chen and Men Qi's expressions changed. An ordinary mosquito actually possessed such terrifying poison. Men Qi, we should activate our spiritual strength to find a path. This place is too strange, said Long Chen as he began to carefully advance. This place was too dangerous. They might be injured from the slightest carelessness. This wasn't a good omen. Ah, crap. I almost forgot to leave a mark. We still have to return here. Long Chen clapped himself on the head. He had almost forgotten such an important thing. The forest here is too dense. Without an extremely conspicuous mark, we won't be able to find it again. Long Chen summoned a flame sphere. He tossed it into the forest, and it erupted, incinerating everything within several miles. Although this action was a bit excessive, there was no way around it. If they couldn't find this place again within a month, they would never be able to return. Men Qi, have you started the hourglass? Asked Long Chen. Yes. The hourglass wasn't in her spatial ring, because space was static there. It was in her spiritual space and currently counting down the time they had left. 
Although there was also a sun in this world, who knew whether a day was still 24 hours here? After incinerating a large space and also leaving a spiritual mark, the two of them once more began to carefully advance. This place was full of high mountains and thick forests. They couldn't see clearly here, and Long Chen didn't dare to activate his wings and fly into the air. It was far too easy for a powerful magical beast to lock onto him up there. As they advanced, Long Chen found the forest to be too terrifying. Even the insects here were berserk, and the majority of them were poisonous. As soon as they saw Long Chen, they would crazily attack. Furthermore, even the vegetation here possessed extremely high attack power. Occasionally, they would send out attacks from underground. It was fortunate that Men Qi and Long Chen were both spiritual experts. They managed to avoid countless attacks as they advanced. Eventually, they got to the top of a tall mountain. Wow, how beautiful. Men Qi let out a startled cry upon seeing the scenery. Ahead of them was a huge lake. On one side of the pool was a cliff 10 miles high. A waterfall crashed down, releasing endless mist. Under the sunlight, a large rainbow was reflected in the mist. The lake was over a hundred miles wide. It was surrounded by mountains, and it was truly incredibly beautiful. Long Chen even forgot about the previous danger and relaxed a great deal. Boom. Suddenly, the sky darkened. Long Chen and Men Qi both jumped in fright and hastily looked up. A huge figure was flying over the sky. A seventh rank magical beast. Men Qi and Long Chen felt a chill. It was a good thing they had kept their auras concealed this entire time. If they were noticed by such a powerful magical beast, they would be doomed. It has a horn on its head, and its claws have scales. This should be the ancient Azure Scale Horned Eagle. It is rumored that it possesses the Dragon Eagle's bloodline, and it is incredibly powerful. Almost unrevealed within the same realm, said Men Qi. So you mean it's extremely powerful? Long Chen was enticed. Yes, it truly is powerful. Its wings are like iron and its claws like steel. It can tear through space, and most terrifying of all, as a wind attribute magical beast, its speed is unrevealed. This is an offensively powerful magical beast, praised Men Qi. If it's this strong, then let's capture it as a housepit for you. Long Chen clenched his fists. Men Qi jumped. A seventh rank magical beast that possesses an ancient bloodline is an existence that can even challenge the Visect Master. Long Chen, don't mess around. Even if we can defeat Charinga 7th rank magical beast, with my current spiritual strength, I can't possibly subdue it. He, didn't I manage to seduce a heavenly fairy like you? Nothing's impossible. Trust me, we can definitely do this, said Long Chen. We should first see what it's doing. Perhaps its lair is nearby. Long Chen and Men Qi kept a close eye on the eagle. They saw it fly directly to the lake. Chapter 755 Battle of Magical Beasts Translator Born to be that azure scale horned eagle flew directly to the lake. Its wings suddenly spread, and one of those huge wings slashed onto the water. The surrounding mountains shook, and water erupted into the air. A fierce astral wind destroyed the nearby boulders. A huge head suddenly shot out of the water. It was the head of a python. It was huge, practically the size of a small mountain. Long Chen hadn't expected that this serene and calm lake would be hiding such a huge python. Furthermore, from its aura, it was also a 7th rank magical beast. The python had only just appeared when it spat out some black mist. A strange sound filled the air, almost like squeaking. It was as if space was being corroded. The azure scale horned eagle flapped its wings and soared directly into the clouds. It was incredibly quick, easily dodging the poison mist. After that, its horn began to shine. A ray of light shot out, piercing toward the python like a sword. This is an innate ability. Long Chen was completely shocked. This attack contained a locking power. It was impossible to dodge. The ray of light was incredibly fast, and it directly struck the python's head. Its head instantly exploded. It was killed in one hit. The eagle grabbed the python's corpse and began to fly back in Long Chen's direction. The python's body was trailing along the ground. A good opportunity. Long Chen pulled Men Qi out of the eagle's eyesight and then jumped onto the python's tail. Men Qi turned pale. Long Chen. What are you doing? Long Chen pulled open a scale and the two of them hid beneath it. He then took out a sword and stabbed it into the python's body. What startled Long Chen was that this python was truly powerful. Even without the protection of its scales, its flesh was extremely tough. He was almost unable to stab into it. He fixed the sword into its body, using it as a handhold. And as expected, he had only just finished when the eagle flew higher into the air, and the python's body also left the ground. But with this handhold, Long Chen wouldn't be thrown off. 
This Azure Scale Horned Eagle is a 7th rank magical beast. It's perfect for you. How could we just let it off so easily? Laughed Long Chen. You've crazy. This 7th rank magical beast possesses an ancient bloodline. Even an ancestor level expert would be forced to run if they didn't have a treasure item. You really want to subdue it. Men Qi didn't know what to say. Long Chen always did such crazy things. Foolish wife. You've forgotten that I am an alchemist. Since it's carrying this python, it's definitely planning on eating it. Hehe. He. Long Chen took out a dose of medicine. He rubbed it into the wound he had made with his sword. This medicine was quickly absorbed into the flesh and disappeared. Do you think I came without any preparations? I made all kinds of medicines to use. Poisons. Laxatives. Anesthetics. Corrosives. Afro. Cough. In any case, I have everything we could want. Long Chen almost blurted out something inappropriate. Long Chen had truly made ample preparations before entering the spirit world. As he added more medicine to the wound, he whispered, I'm adding all kinds of medicines this time. As long as it eats this python's flesh, even if it's just a bite, with the current dosage I've used, it'll immediately get diarrhea and find that it is unable to use any energy. Its body will go limp and weak. At that time, it'll be much easier for you to place a spiritual imprint on it. Will, will that really work? Menki might have confidence in Long Chen, but she still couldn't help but feel that this was a bit crazy. This was a 7th rank magical beast. She had never even thought about subduing one. Compared to Long Chen, she really was conservative. You'll hurt your future man's ego if you keep questioning him, said Long Chen with a hurt expression. Leave this kind of act for one or, I'm talking seriously. Are you really confident? Menki rebuked. Of course. As long as it eats this flesh, it'll immediately collapse. I've used 10 times the dosage. There definitely won't be any problems. Long Chen patted his chest. Then hopefully the heavens will have it eat it quickly. Prayed Men Qi. Praying to the heavens? Long Chen rolled his eyes. If the heavens didn't cause some extra trouble for him, he would have to light incense in thanks. They flew for over six hours. Long Chen and Men Qi didn't dare to look outside, afraid of being sensed by the azure scale horned eagle. Suddenly, a sharp bird cry rang out from the azure scale horned eagle. Long Chen felt himself falling. The python's corpse was rapidly falling out of the sky. He was extremely startled. What was going on? The azure scale horned eagle's cry had been full of fury. At the same time, he heard a loud rumbling. Long Chen hastily looked outside. When he saw what was going on, he was shocked. At the peak of a large mountain, there was a huge bird nest. However, the nest was covered in blood now. A huge lizard was crazily devouring a chick's corpse. There were four shattered remnants of eggs here. It seemed like the chicks had only just hatched. Their eyes had yet to open, and they didn't have any feathers. There were blood stains not far from the eggshells. Obviously, one chick had already been eaten, and the lizard was on the second. Boom. The azure scale horned eagle directly charged over. Its huge claws viciously slammed onto the lizard. But when it landed on the lizard's skin, sparks flew and an ear-piercing sound rang out like iron on iron. Although the claw hadn't harmed the lizard, the immense force caused it to be sent flying. It flew off the nest and crashed down the mountain. Nine spike lizard. Menki let out a startled cry. This nine spike lizard's body was huge, around the same size as the azure scale horned eagle. It was covered in thick scales, and its short limbs seemed extremely powerful. Is this nine spike lizard powerful? Asked Long Chen. Men Qi was the one who was the true expert in magical beasts. Yes. Well, it's not particularly amazing. The main thing is that its defensive abilities are too monstrous. It has no natural enemies as only a few magical beasts can break its defense, explained Men Qi. However, it is a despicable robber, and its favorite thing is to eat the younglings of other magical beasts. Even if it's noticed, other magical beasts can't do anything to it with its defense. However, because its attack power is limited, it is basically just a troublemaker. It's not suitable as a houseboat. How marvelous. Even the magical beast's world has such fellows that don't walk the common path. Long Chen found this extremely unexpected. The two beasts were crazily fighting now. Explosions rocked the heavens. The nine spike lizard's defense was too strong, and it could ignore the azure scale horned eagle. It clearly wanted to eat the remaining two chicks, but the azure scale horned eagle was crazily blocking it. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Magical beasts are so berserk, but a mother has her instincts. It actually won't allow it to reach its children. As for humans, a tiger, though cruel, would not devour its cubs. Magical beasts were even more berserk, but when they encounter danger, 
they would still risk their lives to protect their children. But as for humans, incidences of families fighting each other, even sons killing fathers, were common. Just which side was the truly cruel one? The Azure Scale Horned Eagle was unable to do anything to the Nine Spike Lizard. It was forced to fall back over and over. Suddenly, its horn began to shine, and a ray of light shot at the lizard. Blood splashed. A bloody trough had been cut into the lizard's head, but the wound wasn't fatal. It hadn't broken past the bone. The Nine Spike Lizard's defense is absolutely monstrous. Its first layer of defense is its hide, while its second defense is its bones. Furthermore, its skull is especially hard to protect its vitals. That's why it has practically no natural predators, said Menki. The Azure Scale Horned Eagle continued to let out a furious barrage, and it used its innate ability several times. Although it caused injuries on the Nine Spike Lizard, they weren't fatal. Furthermore, as it released more of its attacks, its core energy rapidly dropped. Its attacks were no longer as fierce as before. Long Chen, let's stealthily go take those two chicks, said Men Qi. From the current situation, in a while, the Azure Scale Horned Eagle wouldn't be able to stop the Nine Spike Lizard from climbing back up the mountain and devouring the remaining two chicks. After all, those were two new lives, and Men Qi didn't have the heart to let them be eaten just like this. We can't. If we want to get over there, we'll have to go over that cliff. If we go directly, they'll notice us, and the Azure Scale Horned Eagle will assume we want to eat its younglings, so it'll attack us, and detouring would take too long. Long Chen shook his head. Men Qi sadly shook her head. Long Chen gently comforted her. Let's just keep watching. Perhaps something unexpected will happen. The two of them continued to hide and watch. As expected, the Azure Scale Horned Eagle's power was rapidly dropping. The Nine Spike Lizard had already taken the advantage. Its hide was thick, and as a cold-blooded creature, it wasn't extremely sensitive to pain. Its wounds didn't affect its combat abilities. The two magical beasts' crazy battle had already destroyed the surrounding forests for thousands of miles. Just as their fight was about to reach its end, a seven-colored light flashed, lighting up the sky. A terrifying pressure descended. As soon as that pressure appeared, the two magical beasts stopped fighting. Looking up, they saw a figure blazing with seven-colored light. Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. Men Qi was filled with shock, her body involuntarily trembling. An existence from legends had appeared here. Chapter 756 Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix Translator. Born to be how come nothing is going according to plan. Long Chen felt a headache coming on. Originally, they had only been planning on subduing the Azure Scale Horned Eagle. But then, the Nine Spike Lizard had appeared out of nowhere. At last. An even more terrifying bird had appeared. Now things had progressed completely out of Long Chen's control. This Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix is a descendant of the Immortal Era's Divine Phoenix. The Divine Phoenix is an existence as famed as the True Dragon. It seems this Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix was sleeping underground, but their intense battle disturbed it. It's angry now. Men Qi was pale. Within that seven colored light, the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix was releasing a terrifying pressure. The Azure Scale Horned Eagle and Nine Spike Lizard no longer dared to move. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix is also a 7th rank magical beast, but it possesses a trace of the Divine Phoenix's bloodline. Although that trace is truly just a trace, this kind of bloodline pressure can subdue all other magical beasts, explained Men Qi. Suddenly, the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix shot into motion. The runes on its wings flickered, and its huge body shot forward like a seven-colored meteorite. It left behind a beautiful rainbow in its path, but neither Men Qi nor Long Chen were in the mood to appreciate the beauty. They didn't even dare to breathe and concealed their auras as best as they could. If the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix noticed them, then it really would be over for them. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had only just moved when the Azure Scale Horned Eagle fled. It didn't even have the courage to fight. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's wings spread, and the runes on its feathers lit up. Countless feather arrows shot toward the Azure Scale Horned Eagle. Holes riddled its body, and blood splashed from the sky. Long Chen was shocked to see that these feather arrows contained metal energy within them that made them extremely powerful. The Azure Scale Horned Eagle let out a mournful cry and fell to the ground. Its head had been pierced, and after struggling a few times, it no longer moved. A terrifying seventh-rank magical beast had been killed just like that. Men Qi and Long Chen's hearts were pounding. The Azure Scale Horned Eagle had easily killed that huge python. And now the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had also easily one-shotted the Azure Scale Horned Eagle. The Nine Spike Lizard also fled for its life. Although its speed wasn't fast, as long as it wasn't struck on its head, 
it would still have a chance to flee. But suddenly, a certain feather on the Riday sacred blood phoenix's head lifted. That feather was covered in runes, and they all lit up, causing a rumble in the sky. That is the Riday sacred blood phoenix's true feather. Its bloodline power is concentrated in that true feather. It is rumored that its power is enough to overflow the earth and decimate the heavens. Menki covered her mouth in shock this information was something she had seen in some ancient texts. Who knew whether it was true or false? But seeing it activate its true feather, her heart pounded. Rumbling came from the Riday sacred blood phoenix's head. Its true feather disappeared, transforming into a sky full of runes. They gathered together to become a seven-colored arrow that shot toward the nine-spike lizard. Its speed was too fast. Long Chen and Menki had only just seen the arrow form when it arrived right in front of the nine-spike lizard. Shockingly, the nine-spike lizard's head instantly exploded. It didn't even have a chance to make a sound. Long Chen and Menki tightly held each other. Both of them could hear the other's pounding heart. This Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix was too terrifying. It had killed two seventh-rank magical beasts in one shot each. Furthermore, those seventh-rank magical beasts were both extremely powerful existences. Don't see us. Don't see us. Don't see us. Damn it. It sees us. Long Chen was in the midst of praying when he wrapped his arm around Menki's waist and lightning wings appeared on his back. He rushed off. He had only just flown out when feather arrows caused the python's tail to explode. Despite fleeing in advance, the scope of those arrows was too great, and the two of them were still struck. Buzz. A dress of feathers suddenly appeared on Menki. It released a barrier of light. Bang. The barrier shattered. Menki's feather dress's defense might be able to block the attack of a sea expansion expert, but it was unable to block the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix's attack. It was a seventh rank magical beast. That was the same level as human cultivator sea expansion realm, but this referred to ordinary magical beasts against ordinary sea expansion experts. The huge python could be considered an ordinary seventh rank magical beast. It might be considered slightly stronger than average, and so it would require three to five sea expansion experts to defeat Chiringit. As for Azure Scale Horned Eagle, it possessed an ancient bloodline and had innate divine abilities. Even ancestor experts would only be able to flee if they didn't have a treasure weapon. As for this Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix, even though its bloodline was not pure, it was still a descendant of the Divine Phoenix. Its bloodline contained innate techniques, and without treasure items to protect themselves, even ancestor experts would be in danger of being killed in one shot. So Menki's feather dress's defense was shattered. However, her spiritual strength was extremely strong. So she summoned three barriers one after another. On the third barrier, the arrows also disappeared. Menki, hide further back. I'll handle it. Long Chen pushed Menki further away. Long Chen. Menki immediately panicked. This Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix was incredibly powerful. There was no way they could defeat Chiringit. But if they couldn't defeat Chiringit, what were they supposed to do? Run? Run in the face of a Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix? That was an absolute joke. Even the Azure Scale Horned Eagle, a wind attribute magical beast, didn't have the qualifications to flee from it. They had even less chance. Long Chen, we'll handle it together. Menki formed a hand seal. An illusory figure appeared behind her. That was a sign of her spiritual strength completely erupting. Good, but not now. Support me from a distance for now. I'll need your help later. With a furious roar, Long Chen activated his divine ring and four-star battle armor. Endless energy surged within his body, and his confidence grew a great deal. Bloodrinker appeared in his hand. He found that Bloodrinker had reached a whole new level of power, but it also seemed to still be in the mending period. It still hadn't completely recovered. But during this time, it could help Long Chen out. In front of this incomparably terrifying Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix, he couldn't hold back the slightest bit. He pushed his power to his peak. This strength filled him with battle intent. Not waiting for the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix, Long Chen shot forward. A saber image slashed down on it, but the saber image didn't even land on the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix's body before being shattered by a barrier. That barrier was an automatic defense from its feathers. Long Chen's attack wasn't even able to break this kind of automatic defense. Damn, it really is skilled in offense and defense. Long Chen was shocked. Its attacks were incomparably sharp, and now its defense was so monstrous. It was no wonder the Azure Scale Horned Eagle and the Nine Spike Lizard hadn't even had a desire to fight it before fleeing. The Azure Scale Horned Eagle had even abandoned its children. Suddenly, the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix let out a bird cry. Its eyes were like two blazing suns. 
They suddenly shot out a ray of light that instantly reached Long Chen. Long Chen jumped. This attack had come without any warning, without it having to accumulate any energy. His lightning wings hastily flapped, and he managed to just barely dodge it. The red light pierced through the ground so deeply that no end could be seen. Long Chen felt a chill. This attack was too bizarre. He had never seen such power. It wasn't brute force that broke through the ground, but that any ground that touched the red light mysteriously disappeared. I can't continue like this. It specializes in long-range attacks. I have to close the distance. Long Chen's wings flapped and he shot forward like a shooting star. Dodging the feather arrows that filled the sky, he arrived right in front of the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. Its body was huge, so it shouldn't be very agile. Long Chen's plan was to get close and find one of its weak points. Otherwise, fighting head-on against such a terrifying beast was truly courting death. Boom. Long Chen had only gotten close when the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's wings slammed down on him, ripping through space. Damn it. Space is being compressed. Long Chen was appalled. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix didn't just have long-range attacks, but its close-range attacks were also so terrifying. This attack had compressed space making it so he couldn't move. It was very similar to when the Visect Master had stopped him from fighting Xiao Wuji. However, the Visect Master had used a kind of magical art to compress space. That power had been even greater than this. Although the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's attack wasn't as concentrated as the Visect Master's, Long Chen felt like he was moving in the mud. His speed dropped sharply, and the range of its wings was too large. There was no way he could dodge. Boom. Long Chen was blown into the ground. He pierced straight through a huge mountain that directly collapsed. Long Chen, cried Men Qi. I'm fine. Men Qi, distracted for a bit. I'm going to use Split the Heavens. Long Chen began to concentrate all his energy into Blood Drinker. A huge saber image soared into the air. Men Qi nodded. She knew that Split the Heavens required some build-up time. Although that time wasn't long, Long Chen couldn't be disturbed during that period. Departed Spirit Arrows. Men Qi's hand seal changed. Endless soul energy condensed into tens of thousands of arrows. They rained down on the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had no way to block these spiritual attacks. It could only endure them. It let out a furious bird cry then shot toward Men Qi. Split the heavens too. Just at that moment, Long Chen finished his preparations. His huge saber image ruthlessly slashed down on the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. Chapter 757 Matchless Dragon My Translator born to be soul drawing lock seeing long chen's saber slashing down men Qi completely unleashed her spiritual strength spiritual chains locked onto the rede sacred blood phoenix's head instantly immobilizing it this technique came from the soul drawing art she had obtained on the netherworld heaven staircase it was an extremely marvelous magical art but to use this kind of magical art against a seventh rank magical beast like the rede sacred blood phoenix was clearly a bit undependable its effect would be extremely limited. It definitely wouldn't be able to hold it for more than a single breath, if even. But all Men Qi wanted was that one breath of time. Boom. The huge blood red saber image slashed onto the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's head. It was blown into the ground, and a huge wave of earth erupted. This attack had landed solidly on its head. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. Men Qi really had worked together perfectly with him. Suddenly, the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's wings slammed onto the earth and it stood up. Long Chen's heart immediately sank. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's eye seemed to have become even redder than before. There was a long, bloody cut on its head. It was even possible to see its skull, but he was startled to see that his saber had ended up deviating from the center of its head by a bit. How had he missed it? It was the true feather. I really am stupid. Long Chen suddenly thought of its true feather. That was where the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's whole life energy was condensed. It was what had caused his saber to slant to the side. That filled him with regret. If he hadn't been so greedy and instead aimed for one of its wings rather than trying to take its life, he might have managed to cripple it. That way, he and Men Qi could have escaped. But now, it wasn't dead. And this couldn't even count as a particularly heavy injury. From its gaze, it was obvious it had become completely infuriated. Double Dragon Attack Long Chen had used up all his energy on Split the Heavens. Now his last technique was Lai Long and Huo Long. This time, he was a bit smarter. He didn't vainly think of using this attack to kill it. He just hoped for this attack to injure it while he stealthily slipped away with Men Qi. Lai Long and Huo Long both let out roars. They intertwined as they flew. Endless pressure descended onto the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. 
Their goal was its wings, but the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's true feather once more rose, transforming into runes. It formed a huge spiritual arrow hundreds of meters long, on that shot towards the two dragons. Boom. This collision was even more explosive than the last one. It felt like the entire world was crumbling. Long Chen vomited a mouthful of blood and was blown back. Men Qi might be further away and had the protection of the brilliant feather dress, but she was also sent flying, blood trickling out of her mouth. Long Chen's arms shook. Lai Long and Huo Long had been both automatically returned. He was shocked to find that they were extremely dispirited. This attack had actually ended up exhausting a huge amount of their core energy. The dust slowly scattered. Long Chen stared closely and let out a regretful sigh. Seven colored feathers were scattered throughout the air. The incomparably grand and majestic Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix was now in a miserable, naked state. The majority of its feathers had been destroyed, revealing its blood-stained skin. It went without saying that the power of the two dragons was too terrifying. It was even stronger than the second form of Split the Heavens. If the attack had directly struck its body, it definitely would have been killed. However, the two dragons' auras were too powerful. To strike someone off guard was essentially impossible. A miserable cry came from the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. That cry was full of hatred and grievance, as well as killing intent. Its wings suddenly shook, and it shot toward Long Chen. As it moved, countless feathers fell to the ground, but now it was truly furious. Even its skin was starting to turn red, and countless runes lit up on it. A terrifying pressure crashed down on Long Chen. He felt like a mountain had fallen on him, and even taking a single step became laborious. Just as his head was rapidly trying to think of something of whether or not he still had any trump cards, a green light covered his body. A scale had appeared over his head. This was the green dragon scale. Originally, it had been lying in the primal chaos space. But when the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had become furious and berserk, when it had activated its bloodline pressure, the scale had appeared. It was still only the size of a palm. Floating in the air, a majestic dragon might spread. That was an arrogant dragon's will that looked down on everything and everyone. The furious Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix immediately prostrated itself on the ground, and it didn't even dare to move. It was trembling in terror. Long Chen immediately began to laugh crazily. What kind of joke was this? Dragons were the emperors of all beasts. What magical beast would dare to resist them? He cursed himself. When had he become this stupid? To capture magical beasts, he should just bring out the dragon scale. When the dragon might appear, who would dare to resist? Don't you like to be a badass? Don't you like showing off? You shameless thing. Just who are you showing off to? Long Chen rushed right up in front of the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix with the dragon scale in his hand. He unleashed a flurry of punches and kicks but it still continued to cower, not daring to move. Menki was stunned. When did I even provoke you? Didn't you want to kill me? Come and try it again. Long Chen once more kicked it a few times, but these kicks ended up landing on its beak, and its beak was so hard that it was his foot that was hurt. Long Chen, what's going on? Menki ran over. She still couldn't believe her eyes. He, we've struck gold. Menki, place the slave mark, said Long Chen. Will it be all right? Menki hesitated. Don't worry, in front of dragon might, it won't dare to resist, said Long Chen confidently. This dragon scale contained true dragon's essence blood. That power was unquestionable. Only then did Men Qi nod and carefully form a spiritual seal. Using her strongest soul energy, she condensed a slave mark that planted itself in the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. As expected, it merely instinctively struggled a few times, but after that, it didn't dare to move. It allowed Men Qi's slave seal to land on its soul. All right, put away your dragon scale. It's already my husband. Menki's voice was shuddering slightly. She felt like she was dreaming. She now controlled a husband on the ancestor level. This was unbelievable to her. Only then did Long Chen carefully put away the dragon scale. But he was still on guard. He was prepared to summon it again at any moment to avoid a sneak attack. Although Long Chen was confident in Menki's abilities, this involved their lives. So he naturally had to be careful. But apparently, he was being overly cautious. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had been completely terrified. Even after Long Chen put away the dragon scale, it continued to tremble. Men Qi was constantly using her spiritual strength to comfort it. This was a method beast tamers often used. If a beast tamer wanted a powerful houseboat, it was often the master that brought the disciple hunting. The master would beat the magical beast half dead. It would be best if it was on its last breaths. Then the disciple would subdue it. Then comfort it. 
that would make it easier to gain the trust of the magical beast. Although once a slave mark had been placed on it, a magical beast would be forced to listen to its master's orders. A magical beast could still rebel and attempt to kill its master to regain its freedom. But if you were nice to your magical beast and didn't make it go through too much pain, it would come to adapt to its new life and accept its master. However, the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix was absolutely terrified. That hadn't just been a bloodline suppression, but also a spiritual suppression. It was completely unable to resist. It only stopped trembling an hour later. It slowly stood up, but it was now in an extremely weak state. After all, Long Chen's saber had cut a long wound on its head. Its feathers had also been destroyed, and it was covered in blood. The worst thing was that when it had activated its bloodline power, the dragon might had completely suppressed it in the most domineering way, which had shaken its core. Hearing Menki's description of its injuries, Long Chen was speechless. To the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix, he said, Really? Why didn't you submit earlier? Now we're all in such a state. Currently, Long Chen, Menki, and the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had been injured. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's injuries were the heaviest, and with its huge body, complete recovery would require an ocean's worth of medicinal pills. Open your mouth. Eat some medicine to stabilize your injuries. Long Chen helplessly took out a pile of healing pills. There were over a hundred pills in this pile. These were things he had stockpiled, but he normally was unable to find a use for them. These were all nine ring pills, and they could ease its injuries. Furthermore, a magical beast's constitution was powerful. Its innate recovery abilities were also amazing. After that, Long Chen took out a barrel of healing medicine. He and Men Qi began to apply it to the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix's injuries. This way, it would recover faster. After all, in this terrifying place, having more trump cards was better. But this project was too huge. Long Chen's barrel was used up after just applying it on its head. Long Chen was extremely vexed. Hadn't he done this to himself? If he had taken out the dragon scale earlier, he wouldn't have to do all this. Originally, he had been thinking of having Men Qi place it into her spiritual space and have it slowly heal. But Men Qi felt extremely sorry for her new husband. And so Long Chen could only alternate between refining more medicine and applying it. They only finished after half a day's work. Only then did Men Qi slowly place the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix in her spiritual space. All right, let's go. There are still those two little fellows. Long Chen directly absorbed the three corpses into the primal chaos space and rushed off toward the bird nest at the peak of the mountain. Chapter 758 Irreplaceable Translator Born to be even though the chicks had only just hatched, their bodies were bigger than a house. However, their appearance was truly a bit ugly. There wasn't a single feather on their bodies. They looked like plucked chickens, and an extremely sour scent came from them. Long Chen, you should keep one of them, and then we should save the other one for one or... Using beast tamer methods, they'll grow quickly, said Men Qi. Both Long Chen and Tang Wan Er possessed their own spiritual spaces for houseboats. With the Azure Scale Horned Eagle's assistance, their power would rise a great deal. In an intense battle, a houseboat could launch a fatal blow if it caught someone off guard. Now, Men Qi had the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. Even if an opponent could block her spiritual attacks, they wouldn't be able to block the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. It could be said that she had immediately become the strongest member of them all. Her power now far surpassed Long Chen. If Long Chen were to fight Men Qi with the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix on her side, he wouldn't even be able to last an incense stick's worth of time. That was the most terrifying aspect of beast tamers. Ordinary beast tamers would control multiple magical beasts, sometimes even dozens. With Men Qi's powerful spiritual strength, she could control over a hundred powerful magical beasts. But Men Qi had always been cultivating, and so she hadn't had time to capture magical beasts. Otherwise, if she were to unleash 100 Xi'anchen magical beasts in addition to her spiritual attacks, it would even be possible for her to kill a rank 2 celestial. However, Men Qi didn't like controlling weak magical beasts, because weak magical beasts were just cannon fodder, and the odds of them dying were too high. Men Qi didn't like that kind of fighting style. She preferred a powerful magical beast that would always stay by her side. She would feel bad about sending magical beasts to their death. Now that she had the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix, she was perfectly content. She didn't have any plans of capturing other houseboats. And so she wanted Long Chen and Tang Wan Er to take these two Azure Scale Horned Eagles. Tang Wan Er was a wind cultivator. So when combined with the Azure Scale Horned Eagle, her attacks would become even sharper. You should keep both of them. 
When we get back, give them both to one or I don't need them. Long Chen shook his head. Currently, the two chicks were still in an extremely weak, confused state. Men Qi could simply lock their souls with her soul energy. There was no need to place a spiritual imprint on them right now. Long Chen, Men Qi was startled. I have Little Snow, so I don't need any other houseboats. Little Snow is my companion who has gone through life and death with me. No one can replace him. Long Chen smiled slightly. Ever since Little Snow had reached the late sixth rank, his cultivation base hadn't progressed in the slightest. Long Chen also knew that sometimes effort couldn't make up for things. Little Snow had already reached his absolute limit. After all, Little Snow had originally just been a third rank magical beast. After a mutation, he had continuously broken through. But now, he had reached a barrier. Long Chen had tried various medicinal pills, but they had all been ineffective. Long Chen had no choice but to accept that Little Snow's cultivation stopped here. But it was as he said. Little Snow was his companion. A companion he couldn't abandon Novaloon.com back in Phoenix Cry. When he had been chased down by Marquis Ying to some nameless village. Little Snow had only been a foot long. But he had gone through countless dangers to search for Long Chen. That was something Long Chen had never forgotten about. On the cultivation path. Little Snow had also helped him out countless times. He had fought shoulder to shoulder with him. Fighting against death. The emotions between them could not be comprehended by others. But you can also have two extra houseboats, said Men Qi. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. Men Qi, forgive my stubbornness, or perhaps you can call it foolishness. Little snow is enough for me. I have my own power to face the upcoming dangers. Long Chen had also once thought of obtaining a stronger magical beast to assist him. But no matter how he tried to reason it, he still felt that it was a betrayal to Little Snow. He couldn't do it. Although he felt that this kind of thinking was very stupid, he didn't mind. In any case, he had done quite a few foolish things, so an extra one didn't mean anything. While Long Chen and Men Qi spoke, Little Snow silently cried in his spiritual space. All right, I won't force you. Men Qi knew that no one could change Long Chen's decisions once he had decided on something. Furthermore, Men Qi also felt a burst of emotion. Long Chen's heart hadn't changed at all. Although he was normally a rascal who needed a beating, his emotions weren't fake. Men Qi sighed. Perhaps it was those emotions that had so deeply moved her. She put the two chicks into her spiritual space. At the same time, she gathered the fragments of the eggs. Those egg fragments seemed to be food for them. It seemed they needed to finish eating those fragments before they could eat flesh. The adult must have captured the python as rations. Men Qi, can you communicate with the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix? Asked Long Chen. Beast tamers first learned ways to communicate with magical beasts. Expressing emotions should be no problem. Ugh, I really didn't expect for its intelligence to be so low. It's even below the average fifth rank magical beast in the outside world. The only thing in its head is craziness and slaughter. Communicating with it is extremely difficult. Perhaps it'll take a long time to completely calm it down, said Men Qi. Usually, the higher the rank of the magical beast, the higher its intelligence would be, which made communication easier. But Men Qi found that the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix was too berserk, and their mental frequencies were difficult to align. Perhaps it has to do with the environment, the vegetation, insects, and now even the magical beasts are all so berserk. Even a tiny rabbit will crazily attack us if we step into its territory. It really doesn't make sense, said Long Chen. The spirit world's environment was a strange. The two of them had been continuously attacked upon arriving. However, when the Azure Scale Horned Eagle had been flying, it had crossed many magical beasts' territories, and none of them had even moved. Was this a case of bullying outsiders? This world really is strange. I feel like I'm constantly being stifled, and I can't help feeling nervous and afraid. Men Qi nodded. Let's rest for a few days. I'll refine some more pills to help the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix recover faster. Even if it can't fight, we need it to be able to fly. Otherwise, we'll find it difficult to move an inch here, said Long Chen. Good idea, Men Qi assented. It really was too dangerous for the two of them to walk in the forest. It would be much safer to fly on the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix. In any case, according to the hourglass, this was only the seventh day. They still had time to continue looking for some treasures. This proved Long Chen's suggestion to use an hourglass to be right. Men Qi found out that according to the hourglass, seven days had passed. But here, it had only been one day. Because they were too nervous. Because they had to be constantly on guard. 
They hadn't sensed the flow of time. Meng Qi had no choice but to admire how dependable Long Chen was, despite how crazy he sometimes was. Long Chen began to refine pills. This time, he refined giant pills because they were more effective. However, refining them was also more taxing. Three days later, he had refined 98 giant pills. The Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix had recovered a great deal. The majority of its injuries had healed, other than the scar on its head being a bit ghastly to look at. The rest of its body looked fine. However, its internal injuries were still very heavy. Its core had been injured by the dragon might, and it would need a long time to fully heal. Long Chen hadn't expected the dragon might to be so powerful. As time passed, his admiration for the dragon expert only rose. Long Chen, the blood phoenix can already fly. What should we do now? Said Men Qi. She now called the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix just the Blood Phoenix to make it easier. Ask the Blood Phoenix if it knows anywhere with large trees. The bigger the better. It would be best if it was that kind of tree that can break through the sky. Said Long Chen. Nonsense. How could there be something so exaggerated? Men Qi rolled her eyes. Long Chen was once more starting to be unreliable. But she still asked the Blood Phoenix. An incense sticks worth of time later. Men Qi sighed. The blood phoenix says something about being tired if it flies forward. There's a forest ahead that might be very frightening. Long Chen's expression was odd. This bird speech really is a pain. What does it mean? It gets tired flying. Does that have to do with how far it flew? The forest might be frightening? What is that supposed to mean? Men Qi bitterly smiled. There's no way around it. I've only been in contact with it for such a short time. And its intelligence is just too low. It's very difficult for me to understand what it's saying. Fine. Then we'll just go in that direction. We'll go slowly and put down markers on the way so we can find the way back. We can also see if we can find some more suitable magical beasts for you. Then you'll really be unmatched. Long Chen smiled. Men Qi smiled sweetly. While Long Chen had also come to the spirit world for other reasons. In truth, the main one had been for her safety. The two of them jumped onto the Blood Phoenix's back and traveled according to its memories. As they slowly flew, Long Chen was filled with anticipation. He wondered if he could see that forest divinity again. They had only just advanced a bit when they saw a seventh rank magical beast. Long Chen asked, Do you want it? Ah, uh, no. That black tortoise is a bit ugly, said Men Qi with embarrassment. It really would be difficult for such a magical beast to attract her interest. Long Chen laughed. Such a magical beast really was a bit useless. Would someone really fight while hiding in its shell? What? An eighth rank magical beast. Men Qi. Quick. Put away the blood phoenix. A huge figure suddenly covered the sun. Long Chen was delighted and he hastily prepared the dragon scale. Chapter 759 Mysterious Giant Tree Translator. Born to be that was a huge serpent. Its body was over three miles long. And it was pitch back. It had a pair of wings on its back. And upon seeing the blood phoenix, it immediately shot over. This was clearly a foraging magical beast. According to the blood phoenix, there weren't such powerful magical beasts on this path. It's the black scale soaring serpent, said Men Qi. That serpent had been quite a distance from them, but in the blink of an eye, it had reached them. This was the black scale soaring serpent's unique ability. It could pierce through the void to launch a sudden attack before its prey could raise any defenses. Long Chen directly took out the dragon scale. It released its dragon might, and the black scale soaring serpent immediately came to an abrupt stop. It let out a strange cry and actually turned and fled. Hey, where are you going? I still have some things I want to talk about with you. Seeing that the black scale soaring serpent wasn't completely suppressed and could flee, Long Chen became anxious. He began to shout and chase while holding the dragon scale. Seeing Long Chen chasing, the black scale soaring serpent's cry became even more mournful. Its voice was full of terror. Suddenly, its two translucent wings shook and its body twisted. It was like it was swimming in the air as it rapidly fled. Hey, I won't hurt you. Let's discuss this. Brother, wait. You dropped your money. Despite knowing that this was a serious situation, Men Qi couldn't help laughing. This evil person didn't forget to talk rubbish even at this time. Men Qi only summoned the Blood Phoenix again once Long Chen was far away. She followed from a great distance because the Blood Phoenix was afraid of the dragon might. After an hour, they finally caught up to Long Chen. The black scale soaring serpent was already gone, but Long Chen was cursing, saying something about how the serpent didn't know how to appreciate kindness and how it had lost its chance to serve him. Men Qi was speechless. All right, don't get mad. 
Menki didn't know whether to laugh or cry. If the outside world knew that Long Chen had chased away an eighth rank magical beast, perhaps the world would go crazy. I'm not mad. I just feel like it's a pity. It lost its chance to become famous. If it followed you, its power would shake the world. Isn't that far better than staying in this damn place? Said Long Chen. He might say he wasn't angry, but his tone didn't match his words. He had noticed a certain fact just now. Continuing to activate the dragon might would exhaust the essence blood's energy inside the scale. The green dragon essence blood was what he needed to rely on to cultivate the dragon blood body tempering art. He didn't dare to continue using it. It was because of this that Long Chen was completely infuriated. If only he could have subdued the black scale soaring serpent, wouldn't he be able to dominate any enemies? Having to watch as that opportunity slipped away, he naturally was irritated. Let's go. Have the blood phoenix fly slower. We can't use the dragon scale again unless we have absolutely no other choice. Sighed Long Chen. They no longer could use the dragon scale. In other words, they wouldn't have any chance of subduing a seventh rank magical beast again, let alone one on the level of the blood phoenix. Even if they simply placed their sights on magical beasts like the Azure Scale Horned Eagle or the Nine Spike Lizard, they would have to rely on special methods. Those kinds of special methods would be too time-consuming. So now, they would not only find it difficult to subdue other magical beasts, but they would also have to be afraid of them. The Blood Phoenix was still healing, and its combat strength was less than half of its peak state. Furthermore, Long Chen needed to factor in the time to travel back to their original location. He needed to factor in enough time for accidents or being stalled by other magical beasts. Otherwise, they would be stuck here forever. As a result, they were even more nervous. But there was no way around it. Long Chen could only fly around slowly as he searched for larger trees. Whenever he saw a large tree, he would take a few seeds and try growing them in the primal chaos space. He found that although many of those trees possessed greater life energy than his old trees, they were still extremely limited. They hadn't reached the requirements Long Chen wanted, but he still kept those trees in case he couldn't find anything better. Just a slight increase was better than nothing. After flying several more days, the hourglass said that they had already been in the spirit world for 10 days, but he still didn't find any suitable trees. Some huge trees might not possess that much life energy. It was on the 11th day that a huge forest suddenly appeared in front of them. The blood phoenix immediately came to a stop. It told Menki that this was an extremely terrifying place. If it entered, it would be killed. Long Chen was shocked by what he saw. Each of these trees soared into the sky. Each one of them was several miles high. They soared above the clouds and blocked the sun. That made Long Chen think of the forest divinity. But this forest was a bit terrifying. The huge leaves blocked the sun, making the forest appear dark and sinister. Menki, does the blood phoenix know the origin of this forest? Asked Long Chen. Menki tried communicating with the Blood Phoenix, but after a long while, she sighed. It can't say anything clearly. All it knows is that this forest is terrifying, and if you enter, you will be killed. Even when I asked it about what would kill you, it wasn't able to describe it. Long Chen was speechless. How could a seventh rank magical beast be so stupid? Menki put it away, and the two of them stealthily approached the sinister forest. The two of them appeared incredibly minuscule compared to the forest. Long Chen quickly noticed that things were off. This place was too quiet. Practically deathly quiet. A dense aura of death filled the air. Long Chen felt a chill. But he needed these trees branches or fruits in order to limitlessly duplicate them. The two of them didn't make a sound as they slowly approached. They had completely concealed their auras. They had even closed their pores. Afraid of releasing any odor. As they approached. Long Chen realized that these trees were even larger than he had thought from afar. Furthermore. They weren't all one kind, but each one of them was incredibly huge. Long Chen was like an ant in front of them. Long Chen found a pit that was the size of a basket. It looked like a huge walnut, but he was disappointed to find that there was no life within it. It was just an empty shell that he couldn't plant. He didn't continue deeper into the forest. His intuition told him that there was something exceedingly terrifying within the depths of this forest. This feeling made his scalp numb, and he felt a chill in his bones. He had never felt such a terrifying premonition before. The nine-star hegemon body art senses had never tricked him. There had to be something incredibly terrifying within the forest. Even in the face of the eighth-rank black-scale soaring serpent, he hadn't felt such a thing. Even when he hadn't taken out the dragon scale. And it had to be known that without the dragon scale, the black-scale soaring serpent could kill him in one blow. In other words, 
Whatever was within this forest was hundreds of times more terrifying than that black-scale soaring serpent, or perhaps thousands of times more terrifying. Long Chen had Men Qi wait for him on the fringe. If something happened, they could immediately communicate spiritually. He climbed to the top of one of the trees. Because it was so tall, the dense foliage blocked his sight, and he couldn't see Men Qi anymore, but he could still sense her soul. At the top of the tree, he found a large fruit. That fruit was three feet wide and shaped like a coconut. Long Chen didn't dare to use his saber. Instead, he gently broke it off with his hands. When he tossed the fruit into the primal chaos space, he was startled to find that the resulting sapling was incredibly large. While it was still just a soft shoot, it had already reached a height of dozens of meters. It only began to harden and mature upon reaching a height of 300 meters. He hastily snapped off a branch and planted it as well. The primal chaos space didn't disappoint him. The branch also began to slowly grow. That relieved him. And then he stealthily climbed down the tree. He saw Men Qi waiting for him worriedly. She felt extremely uneasy. This forest was too strange. If they stayed here for too long, they would go crazy. Long Chen gently touched her face to comfort her. He pointed to another huge tree and the two of them quietly walked over. Men Qi once more stayed down to keep watch. This tree was different from the previous one. It was actually covered in azure scales. Since they had arrived here, Long Chen wanted to get as many seeds as possible. These trees were too big, and he didn't have enough time to grow them to their limit in the primal chaos space. He could only tell how much life energy they had in their sapling state. There was no way he could wait longer. Danger was everywhere here. Staying even an extra minute might be fatal. So Long Chen was only planning on getting the seeds from the closest trees before leaving. If the trees he picked had less life energy in them than the others in the forest, he could only resign himself to his bad luck. He definitely couldn't stay here for too long. Long Chen took seeds from three more large trees. Then looking around, he saw another kind of huge tree. This tree had natural lines on its leaves that looked like runes. Furthermore, this tree was even larger than the others. It looked ten times wider than them. Long Chen's heart immediately began to quicken. Originally, he had been planning on leaving now. But now that he saw this huge tree, he couldn't move. In the end, he clenched his teeth and walked over. His greed had won. He began to climb the tree. Once he reached the top, he suddenly found that this tree had no fruits. Was it a male? Helpless. Long Chen looked around. He saw a small branch around the thickness of an arm. He pulled but found that this branch was extremely sturdy. It didn't immediately break. That made him extremely startled. With his current power, he could snap an enchanted weapon with his bare hands, but he was unable to snap a branch. He didn't try any harder. Such a strong branch would cause a loud noise if he broke it with brute force. In this deathly silent forest, that was definitely not good. He stealthily took out Blood Drinker. Blood red light flashed as the branch was cut off, but where it was cut, a red liquid began to flow out like blood. Not good. Long Chen's expression completely changed. The large tree suddenly shuddered and countless branches gathered around Long Chen, forming a cage. Chapter 760 Terrifying Existence Translator Born to be Long Chen's heart shook. Countless branches began to coil around him. Careful, Long Chen, warned Men Qi through a spiritual transmission. Something was clearly happening down below as well. Time to run. Long Chen threw the branch in his hand into the primal chaos space. With a slash of his saber, he tore through those coiling branches. Red liquid splashed through the air. Long Chen immediately realized things were worse than he had thought. This tree actually possessed its own consciousness. He immediately summoned his lightning wings and rushed away. Suddenly, more branches came for him. This time, it wasn't those slender branches, but branches several meters thick. He also felt a berserk feeling coming from the tree. It wanted to kill him. Split the heavens. Long Chen directly slashed his way out of the branches, finally escaping their clutches. Only then did he see that Men Qi was in danger as well. Countless roots were surging over her, like monstrous serpents trying to devour her. Long Chen broke those roots with a single slash of his saber. Holding Men Qi, he rushed out of this strange forest. Boom. Shockingly, the ground erupted and that huge tree flew into the air. Countless roots came flying toward Long Chen like a heaven shrouding claw. The thing that shocked Long Chen the most was that following the first tree, more trees began to fly into the air and chase him. He had no idea what energy they were using, but they were actually able to fly. Long Chen felt like the world had gone crazy. Those trees were incredibly quick. In the air, they were like huge, black clouds. Countless roots stabbed toward him. 
They were clearly several miles away, but those roots seemed to be able to grow limitlessly. They reached him in an instant. Long Chen once more slashed down his saber, breaking those roots. A blood-like substance filled the air. A strange, chilling cry came from the giant tree. Damn it, they really want my life. Long Chen had only just forced back one tree when he saw that thousands of giant trees had filled the air, completely blocking out the sun. Men Qi had already summoned the Blood Phoenix now, but the Blood Phoenix was unable to throw off these trees with its speed. Then, in front of Long Chen's shocked eyes, these trees merged together. Their crowns combined and their roots intertwined. They transformed into one enormous creature that rapidly chased after them, and their speed actually increased. Long Chen had never seen such a bizarre thing. These trees were actually working like an army. Men Qi's face was pale. After the trees had merged, their aura had become even more sinister and chilly. But she kept her mouth shut, not wanting to disturb Long Chen. Explode. Long Chen tossed out a ball of flames, and it exploded in front of that monster. The trees let out that strange cry once more. Their branches and roots were immediately ignited. Ashes began to fall from the sky. Although it wasn't a heavy injury, it still made Long Chen feel relieved. As expected, fire was extremely effective against wood. Suddenly, the sky trembled. A terrifying pressure came from the depths of the forest, one that it made it feel like space had frozen. Long Chen immediately felt like some ancient monster had set its gaze on him. An unprecedented feeling of danger filled him. Even Men Qi was affected. Whatever that thing was, its aura surpassed their imagination. Long Chen, what are we supposed to do? Although she knew she shouldn't ask such a question at this time, Men Qi couldn't help it. Don't be afraid. Have the Blood Phoenix fly as fast as possible. I remember we crossed a huge river on our way here. We should be able to get there fast enough, said Long Chen. No matter how big Long Chen's guts were, in front of something unknown with unprecedented power, he was still on edge. But after walking on the border of life and death for so long, the more dangerous the situation turned out to be, the calmer he became. When running into danger, panic and fear wouldn't save anyone. It would only cause you to die faster. Long Chen had long since gotten into the habit of being cool-headed in the face of danger. Long Chen sensed a terrifying fellow rapidly approaching from the depths of the forest. These trees must have alerted that existence. However, that terrifying fellow was still extremely far. They still had some time. Long Chen constantly released flame spheres to hold back the trees. But he was also starting to get more nervous. That terrifying existence was rapidly getting closer. Long Chen, the river is ahead, called Men Qi. That river was extremely wide. It was several hundred miles long. The water roared fiercely. Little snow, come out. We'll release a combined wind flame attack. Don't concentrate the attack. We want the largest scope possible. Long Chen summoned Little Snow. At the same time, a huge flame sphere was circulating in his hand. Long Chen had Huo Long send all its energy into it. The flame sphere was already 300 meters in size, and that was after Long Chen had compressed it as best as he could. Little Snow's white hair stood on end as endless wind energy began to circulate. He immediately released all his power the flame sphere shot out. Little Snow opened his mouth and also shot out a huge sphere of wind blades. It wrapped around Long Chen's flame sphere and shot forward. The instant those two spheres collided, they rapidly grew, instantly becoming 10 miles wide. Boom. Flames erupted, filling everything within 10,000 miles. The entire world seemed like it had been ignited. The trees let out mournful cries upon being enveloped by the flames and wind. After those flames passed, their tree crowns had been completely destroyed, and the majority of their roots had also disappeared. Their trunks were charred black. As for Long Chen, he directly put away little snow. Men Qi also put away the Blood Phoenix. The two of them charged into the river. Once they were in the river, Long Chen spread his divine sense and found a large fish rapidly swimming over to them. This fish was 40 meters long, and its aura marked it as a fifth-rank magical beast. Seeing Long Chen and Men Qi, it opened its mouth and swallowed the two of them. Control it. Long Chen had Men Qi take control of the fish. As it swam, Long Chen said, to the left. Men Qi hastily sent the fish to the left. A powerful beast appeared in front of them and began to swim over with its mouth wide open. Men Qi sent the fish directly into its open mouth. The beast hadn't even understood what had happened before it naturally devoured the fish. At that very moment, a terrifying pressure flew over the sky. The beast immediately burrowed its way into the mud and didn't dare to move. Long Chen tightly held Men Qi. Men Qi was trembling. That terrifying existence was flying right over them. 
Even Long Chen was extremely nervous. Whatever it was, that existence had already surpassed the scope of his understanding. He didn't even have the courage to probe it with his divine sense. That terrifying pressure flew by. Then, countless other powerful auras flew over them. They were like locusts, completely innumerable. Those auras only disappeared after over two hours. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. How had taking a branch drawn out such terrifying life forms? And from what had just happened, it seemed like there was something even more terrifying that was controlling this huge army. Hadn't he just taken a single branch? Did they need to muster such a force? Long Chen couldn't help cursing inside, but he couldn't move right now. Whatever those things above were, they were slowly returning. They obviously hadn't found anything and so were flying back. His heart clenched. He noticed a terrifying divine sense sweeping through the river. At first, it had started in the corner, but now it had reached the beast that they were in. It swept through the stomach of the beast. Long Chen's nerves were stretched taut as he was worried about being noticed. But the divine sense merely swept through that beast's stomach, and it didn't search the fish's stomach. Long Chen relaxed. Thankfully, he had set up two layers of protection. Otherwise, they really would have been doomed. That divine sense searched around several times but it left in the end. The sensation of pressure finally lifted. How dangerous. Menki was still filled with fear. It was close. Perhaps I really did go a bit too far this time. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He really had been too overconfident. In the future, he definitely couldn't play around like this, or no number of lives would be enough. He finally looked inside the primal chaos space. The tree branch was still there. He stuck it into the soil and saw that the branch began to grow roots. That made Long Chen sigh with relief. Although it had been incredibly dangerous, he had at least obtained this tree branch. If it hadn't worked, he would probably have coughed up blood. The tree which this branch came from was completely different from other trees. Previously, the trees that had come to attack them had all been especially huge. The other trees, whose seeds he had previously collected, hadn't moved. In other words, it was the especially huge trees that were not ordinary. They stayed within the beast's stomach for a full day until the sensation of danger had completely faded. But they couldn't stay any longer as the beast's stomach juices had already corroded the fish to the point of melting it. I'll kill this magical beast, and then we'll leave this place. Long Chen summoned a lightning spear, 